Oh, we need to unpresent. Hang on. Hey! <laughs> I, hello. I, who's presenting? Who's, nobody's presenting. We're all right. We're okay. We're okay. Oh, We're Craig's okay. Gone. I, I didn't. Hey, Craig's up. Oh, Craig that. lost that one. Definitely, Craig had to rejoin the chat. Craig last, Craig, mate. Motherfucker, <laughs> <laughs> somebody went and balked me completely. Who was it? I that was it. slow, Craig. That was slow. I had to mute you because your mic was muted. Richard is going to do. I'll present Richard presenting the show. Richard, hello. What hello, have you got? Hello, everybody. Welcome. Welcome to the Ideal Home Show with a special <laughs> guest. <laughs> you putting oven on, Craig? Yeah. <laughs> um, we're here with the vaping bogan. All the way from. <laughs> The early morning. <laughs> it's oh, literally the future. It's literally the future on hey. Sam's screen. <laughs> it's yeah. amazing. Five uh, five thirty in the morning in uh, in the future. <laughs> yeah. Wow. Who won the Who won the British election? election? Friday. Yeah. Who, <laughs> who, won, who won the election, election, Sam? We'll split the profit. <laughs> <laughs> what Sorry, did you say, you could... Fucking hell. Oh no. Never mind. Uh, but we'll be talking all things non-politics -pol throughout yeah. the show, just to keep everyone in the loop. Uh, Craig's got a swingometer. Uh, <laughs> as, the, as the voting, as we roll into midnight, uh, Craig will be showing. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm swinging. He's, he's painted his nuts blue and red. <laughs> uh, but no, we'll get on with it. Let's get on with it. Uh, John, how's your week been? What are you vaping yeah. and Sandwich, did you just have last? Oh, <laughs> what sandwich did I have last? Um, okay, oh, nice. Is it a good question? Yeah, I'll do. Uh, my week has been busy, 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 busy at work. Um, uh, I'll do the last one next. Uh, what was the last sandwich I had? What was the last sandwich? Oh, do you know what it was? It was actually one of my own creations that I made up yesterday. It was tuna mayonnaise, and you're thinking, boring, but... Passe, passe. Yeah, yeah, wait for it, wait for it. I I scattered it with um, with chilli-infused pickled gherkins. It was fucking awesome. Mm. Yeah, that it, really it, cut through the... Uh, really cut, cut through, through the fishiness. Cut yeah. through the fishiness. It was, it was good, it was really good. I didn't think you made your own sandwiches, John. I thought you had you had the butler made them for you. Butler to make my sandwiches. No, no, <clears throat> I do make my own sandwiches. I, I, oh, there's this thing because I have a little bit of <laughs> an obsession with lunch. I won't, I won't spend ever spend more than a fiver, but I try to spend like a pound or less, or bring my own pack lunch. Um, and I always have an orange every day. It's like an obsession. So I have either an orange or two every day. Like everyone can tell when I'm having lunch because there's the smell of orange oil is in the air because I just. Oh, my vaping on. Um, I've got. I don't know. Who, oh, the Smoant Night V2. Um, and in that, I've got the Hurricane uh, V2.1. Because just go. And in that, you can't really see, but it is blue. Oh, I've got Panther Milk um, uh, by Vapeswag. In that, <clears throat> I never went that blue. <clears throat> oh, that's a lovely blue. Is How come yours is blue and mine's not? I'm so flat. Mine's, mine's not blue. One point. One point. That's about two months old. Look, oh, mine's a lovely. Blue. Mine's got a lovely blue. Yeah. I'm sending it back. Uh, one point one ohms and uh, seventeen watts on the old hurricane. It's quite good. <laughs> Fucking two for them. Uh, next up, uh, it seems to be a bit of a. We've started a little bit of a craze for these, but the next up is a moonshot. Bit of a retro. Oh, yeah. uh, a a moonshot. Where, <laughs> where did you get that from? I don't even know where my moonshot is. 
<laughs> we dug them all, we all dug them out. We were talking about it, about it being a really good little tank, and then everybody just went, yeah, fuck it, let's see if, how good it was. And it's still fucking awesome. I haven't dug mine out, it's still sitting there with the first coil I ever put in it. It's a pain and in the ass to build, that's why you've yeah. still got the same coil. Yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah exactly. I've got some juice in it no, as well, it's fine. <laughs> Yeah, once you get over, we the all agree. Building, yeah. I mean, it's fucking awesome, but yeah, the building. Yeah. yeah, put the building and fucking leave it. Just choose your build wise. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, I went with a dual stainless point four building. It's forty watts and um, oh, abolishment from uh, just that Nick. It's pretty good. And the plumes of hazard. I did gaslight vapor. That's what's in there. Um, <clears throat> next up, I don't know if you've seen one of these before. It's called a, a a vapor giant nano. Fucking. Do you reckon that's Do you reckon that's small, Sam? <laughs> do you reckon that's a nano? It is. <laughs> it is. I think you have to compare it. To your Twenty-five it's... millimeter nano tank. Yeah. <laughs> twenty-two. It's twenty-two millimeters round. Fuck knows how high that is. Thirty centimeters. But uh, it's all right. Nano. Thirty centimeters. <laughs> I want to see. Actually... It. I want to see it on a mech. I want to see it on a tube oh, mech. But it's, it's still thing. it's still shorter than the Hurricane. It's at least it's a foot tall. The hurricane's, the hurricane's not claiming to be a nano. Yeah, it doesn't, it doesn't say nano on the side of the hurricane now. It's claiming to be a, a weather phenomenon, and it fucking isn't. So, <laughs> <laughs> uh, last but by no means least, yeah, um, I've got uh, dot mod uh, Petri dot mod Petri uh, V two on top of the RX two hundred. Uh, I just don't want to press fire though right now. I can't. Um, <clears throat> with a silly build in it. Uh, 0 0.15 at 100 watts. <coughs> and lovely 12 milligram. <laughs> oh, Christ. That'd be nice at five in the morning, so sir. <laughs> That'd be good. That was that would wake you the fuck up, definitely. Oh, I've actually yes. been enjoying a nine milligram juice recently out of the little... It's good. Yeah, the Zippo thing. Oh, I've seen those. They're on, they sell those on Fast Tech, don't they? These are actually really tasty. This is actually the best mouth to lung vape I've ever had. <laughs> from, from a pre, from like an all in one device. I mean, obviously, rebuildable tank, you know, different, but from an all in one device, it beats the Breeze, it beats the I Care Solo. It's fucking really nice. <laughs> has it got a fire button, Sam? Is it, is it, um, has it got a switch? No, it's just puff activated. Um, but the flavor and the draw is really smooth, and it's a proper mouth to lung. It's not your fucking lung hit masking as a as a mouth to lung. It's actually really fucking. I've been amazed. I'm going to do a review on it. There's so many amazers that do exactly what you just said. The the, the disguise actually it's a lung hit, and we'll pretend yeah. it's a mouth to lung. Yeah. Yeah, and they're like, oh, like the uh, breeze. The breeze. I don't really think of a mouth to lung. It's too loose. Since Sam's already started his hand check, we're going to let Sam carry on and he can do his hand check. Sorry. <laughs> oh, wait there. I'll ask you a stupid... Wait there, wait there, wait there. <laughs> Sorry, I did that too quick. Sam, how's your week been? What are you vaping on? <laughs> and what was the last film you saw with Tom Cruise in it? Oh, fuck. It's the last film I saw. <laughs> <laughs> well, well done on avoid avoiding an Australian cliché. Oh god, fuck! I don't know. I'm not a big fan. He, he... He's a little punk. <laughs> I've no problem saying that. But as soon just... as they go like, full, as soon as they go full Scientologist, I kind of lose interest. No, yeah, totally. <laughs> but you still have to go on. You must have seen a film, so that, that just. Oh that. yeah. Um, what's probably the what's the one with the horse in it? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Um. Oh Jesus! What is the last one? I just go. I just go with the fucking Jack Nicholson. Then the whole you can't handle the truth, isn't that? Oh yeah, a few a good, good men. A few good men. That'll do. That'll do. <laughs> a rerun of that on TV about ten years ago. He has actually yeah. done some alright stuff. Yeah. That last Samurai that was, was quite a good film, wasn't it? That was a pretty sorry. Actually, this is the last Samurai. That would have been the last one that I saw. There you go. Yes, done a couple of I don't things. think I, I can't. Even, I couldn't even answer that question. I've no idea. Rick, Rick, uh, Rick, you've got to remember that you did once say that Brad Pitt was better than Robert De Niro. I didn't. I said he's a modern day Robert De Niro. No, I think I'm... he's getting there. I think he's getting there. He plays Brad Pitt and everything, and Robert De Niro plays himself. Anyway, <laughs> how's your week been? It's it's been full on as usual. Um, in the shop, 
working, selling the vapes. Um, kids are kids are healthy, which is good, but it's always yeah. a busy time with a one year old and a six year old. So yeah, yeah, it's good. Life's good. Busy but cool, good. Cool. Uh, um, I'm currently what? testing a fucking pile of stuff. I've got the <laughs> probably this is my favourite thing at the moment, the new box of squonk. I've joined the squonk club. Oh, hey, oh, God. oh I love it. Glad. <laughs> oh, God. really, really like this. Um, with the little Tony B Pulse RDA, which is fucking perfect, perfect little squonk RDA. Yeah, we well, talked about that last week. You got one in your Did you get one, Richard? Uh, I, I completely messed up the review. I had to do two, two reviews. <laughs> <laughs> I love it when that happens. I had to re-record the other night because um, I got excited and I bumped my mic and I hit the mic, the mute. So I went to do the edit and uh, I look, yeah, I've got the video, sweet. And I go to the audio track and two minutes in, it just stops. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Beautiful. Anyway, um, so in that I have a raspberry jam donut called um, Red versus Blue from an Australian company called uh, Ohm Away from Home. I'm also testing the what is it the V uh, the Vape Breed Mod V2. This is their, their flagship mod, Filipino fully mechanical parallel. That's got the Kylin on the top there with some Beetlejuice from our that looks world. Like, that looks a bit like the. Um... The, Rick Pick. Is it EVE that do the oh the oh fucking hell the Manakitos and they did the uh, Castigador and stuff like that? Yeah. It looks a bit like that. It's, it's definitely got that Filipino box mod look to it. Let's face it. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah. But lovely, lovely little uh, is it fully mech box. Yeah, fully mech. Full two eighteen in the bottom nice. there. Cool. I like the look at that. I like yeah, it. Nice. That stuck my little logo. I quite like that. That's simple, but I like it. Oh, ah, wicked! It's oh, been lazy. No. It's been lazy for you. The perks. Yeah. It's just your, it's just your classic, you know, box mod. There's nothing really new there. Just a nice bit of mechanical kit. Um, what else have we got? Uh, we've got obviously the captain from iJoy. We've got to test that out with um, an RDA from what do you call it? Vicious Ant, the Vox, mm. which is kind of like a Kennedy style. Vicious Ant RDA. Did you have to buy it on eBay or did they sell it? <laughs> <laughs> did you have to buy it on eBay or did they just sell it? <laughs> I didn't realise uh, Vicious Ant are Filipino. Yeah, yeah. Hello. Yeah, Filipino. I didn't realise. I've been talking to them. They're a scoop here, a secret bit of insider news. I probably shouldn't say it. They're bringing a squonker out soon. Ooh. Ooh. That that uh, that captain mod's the bigger batteries, isn't it? The twenty seven hundred. Yeah, the, is, yeah, the are you noticing the battery life? Now this is interesting. Everyone's losing all their shit, and they get ah twenty seven hundred. Ah, yeah. calm down, everybody. Calm the fuck down, because most people are using the iJoy batteries that it comes with. Um, and it's in Australia the only twenty seven hundreds we can really get at the moment are the iJoys. And we looked, I was looking at the results from Mooch and the 2700s perform about the same as a VTC6. Right. So, so if so. you've gotten VTC6 Sony's, put that in your normal 18650 mod, you're going to get about the same as you will out of the iJoy 2700. So oh. I've been using VTC6s. So I don't really notice much of a difference. No, oh, I'm sure. No. And they're not available, innit? It's a bit of a. They, they've been bigged up, haven't they? These 2700s and 2700s. But they're not. When, fucking, can't get them. Now, when when I can get my hands on the, the Sanyo 2700B, that's going to be really good because that's a 4000 ma battery, um, obviously, with only just a little bit more size to it. So that is going to give you 8000 ma and a noticeable difference in battery life. So that's what I'm looking forward to. Yeah. Yeah. And it's quite, um, quite interesting for mechs because you've got the more consistent amp drawer, haven't you? Yeah. Higher continuous. But yeah. There's a couple of other good ones as well. I think um, the twenty, the 21700 from, oh, fuck, I forget. It might also be Sanyo. That also looks really good. Yeah, they're, they're so hard to find at the moment, those are, though. I, can't, I, I looked around for some the other day and they were just fuck all of them. Can't get them, can you? Can't get them anywhere. I've been looking for them as well. Yeah. All right, moving the fuck on. Uh, got the Aromamizer Supreme V2. That's that's nice. 
not a lot of changes from the V1 Supreme, but some welcome it's little awesome. tweaks, which is nice. <laughs> the V1, I know some uh, people daily driver, uh, and I, I yeah. think it's a lot of love for it. Definitely, definitely. The Supreme was, um, for me, probably number one tank for a long time until the Kylan and the Amet came out. Um, yeah. I love the Supreme, and so all they've done here is they've changed a few things. They've changed the the pin system that locked, you know, worked with the juice close off the locking system. They've changed that so that it doesn't have these stupid pins that you can lose really easily on the V1. So, not heaps of differences, mainly just in usability. There's no difference in performance, but that's coming up. Um, this isn't going to get a review, but it is being used. The <laughs> 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 yeah, what the fuck? But I think we're going to come back to this later on, aren't we? Yes, so we'll yeah. uh, we'll just put that to one side for a minute. That's a whole segment, all of its fucking own. Um, and then I've got the Amet. So the <laughs> Geek Vape just they can't stop with the Amet. So they had the Amet Twenty Two, then the Amet Twenty Five, the the big one, the six mil dual coil, and now they've gone back to a twenty five single coil um, Amet. So another fucking Amet. <laughs> <laughs> We're tofu with it's this. Like, it's almost like serpent, isn't it? Yeah. I just yeah. bring out different or, have, have you noticed that coil art only have two names? They have either an Azeroth or a Mage, and it's either a mod or an RDTA or an RDA or an RTA. They've just got two product yeah. names. Yeah. God. As soon as one sells well, that's it. Everything is that. Yeah. I think they just like the fact that if you just Google Mage, all of their products come up. Yeah, <laughs> that's a good way to do it. Well, if you right. spell it wrong, you end up with a dog disease. <laughs> <laughs> um, I've also got I forget what this is called. This is the fucking um, OBS, I think it's the Creus RDTA. Yeah, the Creus RDTA. So that's follow up. Oh, to yeah. Yep, yep. Oh, there you go. There you oh, go. These, these have got history. These have you, you're stirring up memories of days gone by for Rick now. It was a, oh, it was a really good. It was really good. The original. Yeah, yeah. This was fantastic. I've was got the original brilliant. here. Actually, I've got it on the old uh, reference mod. Yeah, there you go. Yeah, back another stuff. Um, and that is on the the, the Sharon. This is the sh <laughs> Sharon. <laughs> Fucking Sharon. <laughs> <laughs> the, the, sh the Sharon. Sharon. The Sharon. <laughs> wow. Um. You get like a sticker to put across your car windscreen. It's as well. nice. It's nice when a mod maker names a mod after his ex-wife. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I reckon. It, I reckon it's down the pub. I reckon it's that. Hey, look, look, listen, Sharon. If you go home now, I'll name a fucking analyzer after you. <laughs> Stop throwing stuff. You don't think it's it's uh, dedicated to Ozzy Osbourne's missus, old Sharon? <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> That's all. I, every time I pick it up, I just think of. Did you ever watch? You know the the, the Ozzy Osbourne yeah, yeah, yeah. TV show. The, fucking Sharon, Sharon, it's <laughs> the fucking remote. <laughs> no. I swear that's all that show was. It's just Ozzy sitting on the couch yelling for Sharon. Put me right off owning dogs. That program. <laughs> they just went where they wanted to, didn't they? They don't care. Just buy a new carpet every. Couple of days. Obviously, yeah. won't know. He's <laughs> still just walking around the house a bit. <laughs> a bit on the end of his walking stick. Don't matter. <laughs> they fucking bite the head off. F head off a shit. <laughs> oh God. <laughs> But yeah, I don't know, Vic. Have you got the the Sharon? It's the adjustable no. Sharon. So it's the it's like Tesla's Invader Three. It's got the little potentiometer, and it's oh. just a. I like yeah. those sort of things. Six point six volts or something, you know. I like them. It's not bad. Oops, if you turn it on. Anyway, I think that's me done. Oh, and the Cheetah V two. That's it. The OBS Cheetah V two Mini. Oh, that's a, that's all right, isn't it? Yeah, I like this. It's got an interesting post design with a, with a yeah. bottom clamp system. Mm. You kind yeah. of pull them up and they kind of go back down. I mean, that thing. Yeah, yeah they're spring loaded. They, 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 they're these clamps that come down rather than it's it's like a it's like your jaw if you know what I mean it it, it clamps from the bottom up rather than from the top down. <laughs> unless you're Canadian yeah <laughs> <laughs> anyway that's me 
that, that's nipples. She's gonna right. So you that. got you got to pick now, Sam. Who do you want to pick? Ooh. What's what's Vic got? What do you got? Oh, actually, right. what does fellow reviewer uh, got? I haven't uh, I haven't been at work this week, so a lot, a lot of boxes at work. <laughs> <laughs> um, and so I'll just tell you what I've, I've had for a little while. Um, I've got the Chris RDTA, just the same. Uh, I've got ooh. that uh, Boston Boston cream Sad. stuff from Dale in there. Uh, I quite like this. Again, it's got like the fancy. It's got the same deck, hasn't it, as the Cheetah V2? Yeah. But I, but I just on something like this, I was just use the holes. Yeah, yeah. Just going straight in the holes. Yeah, but uh, it's pretty solid. I'm surprised they didn't go with the um, the bigger wick holes. And it doesn't have a little a little hole for your airlock, sort of to release the air vacuum, which kind of annoyed me a bit. Yeah. You've got to yeah. do the tuck your wick to one side of the air, you know, the juice hole. But uh, all these all these RDTAs are solid now. It's a solid RDTA. Um, nothing, nothing spectacular, but uh, yeah, keeps with the name, Prius name. I'm sure it'll be popular. Yeah, it'll do well. I feel it's really hard to tell the difference in vape between a lot of one RDA to another. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah, yeah. The the only good thing that's been done recently is the bigger, the, the bigger wicking hole. Yeah. Um, I've got my uh, Eddie May 3D Squonker, Squonk One, I think he's calling it, from uh, Darwin, and oh. I've got the Serpent BF on there. Uh, have you have you had one of these, Sam? I don't know. With this, no, I don't. Uh, Watofo. I've had some stuff turn up. I'm mine. I've, I've been vaping on a couple of Watofo things, but I don't think I've put the the bottom fed together. No. It's quite it's quite, it's quite annoying because the top cap doesn't come off. <laughs> oh. <laughs> no, it's really tight, it's, and it's got a weird deck thing. So you uh, you have to push the five ten to get it open like that. Oh, okay. The deck falls out of like the cup. Oh, oh right, that's a bit weird. So, if while you're squonking, you want a little sneaky peek at your deck, you can't. No. <laughs> you have to unscrew it, <laughs> and then you have to make sure when you put it back down, you line it up, and then when you tighten it back on the mod, it twists out of line, and then you've got to start all over again. Oh, um, but it's but as a, as an actual squonking RDA once. It's all sorted. It's quite nice, actually. It's quite nice. Um, so there's that. Uh, I've got my uh, Dacus. My Dacus yeah. uh, Mac. Uh, no. Hurricane V2 on top. Um, in there, I've got Goose Juice. I really cleverly oh. Oh. took this away with me, but then forgot to take the actual bottle of Goose Juice, so that was good. That lasted about hey. three hours. <laughs> Not that um, but yeah, uh, and Brins. Brins uh, Dacus was on. On the group, and it was great. Uh, yeah, yeah I, saw, I saw that yesterday. It's uh, it's a lovely little thing, smaller yeah. than I thought it'd be. Yeah, it's it, really nice. Nice. Person, I'm, go I'm going out for a beer with Dacus on Saturday. Dacus, uh, who else is um, some Omies are coming down to Felix though. Oh, cool. And uh, we're going out for a bit. Kept that quiet. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, I was um, <laughs> and a mystery. Yeah. Um, kept that quiet. That is, yeah, I'll we'll talk about this after. Yeah. <laughs> More than well. More than well. Uh, so there is that. Yes, yeah, so I've got Goose Juice in Hurricane. Um, RDT8, that's it. Squonk, everything. Uh, Craig, what uh, wow. What did you, what are you having for tea or had? It's not. It's very unclear at this point. Um, yep. What are you vaping on? How's your week been? Oh, can I have the, oh, I got, can I have the weird question? The Tom Cruise. <laughs> <laughs> when was the last time you thought Damon stole something you did? <laughs> <laughs> Don't wow. be mean, come on. <laughs> that, that was good. Stole somebody oh, else's idea. Yeah. yeah. You, when was the last time you stole someone else's idea? Was that? That was probably this morning. <laughs> I don't know. I was going to say great for... um, <laughs> um Yeah. How's my week been? I got fucking soaked on the way home from work tonight because he pissed it down with rain as, as I walked out the office door and it was torrential and I got fucking drowned. And... Yeah, that was great. Uh, other than that, yeah, good. Uh, and what am I vaping on? Right. I've got a few bits here. Right. Moonshot. Yay! 
without, <laughs> without the tilly. Well, Lou, what you can do, you can actually put normal drip tips in it. If you take that monstrosity, it pops off. You can get a normal drip tip in the top. Yeah, it doesn't look great. <laughs> <laughs> it's protruding. Why it's am I like... All right. It looks better that. than it did, I agree. But it's, there you go. Well, it's, yeah, no, it's, that, it's, that, that, it's that plinth, isn't it? That ledge. That ledge. That ledge. That ledge. It's all right. I like it like that. So anyway, so yeah, there's uh, I've got Feel the new shot on the Archon, and then that I've got Raspberry Mint. Got in that? No, not Raspberry Mint. Planet Cracker from DB Liquids, and just had Nick and all that shit. Um, next door, I've got. I've used this a little bit this week because I'm not sure. I'm still trying to work out what the flavours like, but I've got the Black Rose with the K Fun light on top with the matchy matchy drip tip and the tiny tank. Um, and in that, I've, I'm not sure. I'm not convinced. Alice by Ruby Root is really, really good. I love Alice, but I'm not a big fan of Samantha. Samantha's let me down so far. <laughs> I really <laughs> wish this was a podcast. That'd have been amazing. We've got Sharon. Yeah. We've got Sharon, S Samantha, <laughs> and Alice. 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 Uh, no, Nola's the one, isn't it? That's the one that gets the. I think, yeah. I think oh, Lola. We've done. Come on, and forget Lola. Lola, yeah. Previous name Keith. Her name is Lola. She was a show. <laughs> anyway, next up, I've got the Exome 2.1 with the Goon 1.5 on it with the signature tips thing on the top. Uh, yeah, I'm like hair. I'm liking the Goon. Suddenly. <laughs> um, I'm like, I'm oh, you like, got to give it 1.5. Yeah, it's all right. Uh, it's too cloudy for you. <laughs> too airy. It's, Have you noticed that if you try to close off the airflow, you get to a bit over halfway closed and then the other side starts to open? Does it? Yeah. That's because they've made the slots so wide, uh, so yeah. long. Yeah, it's that's not can't possible. really close off the dual coil airflow and have it sort of fairly tight because it starts to open. That's really fucking stupid, isn't it? <laughs> they did. <didn't think, laughs> I noticed that. Yeah, I but came they to did, a point of that they, yesterday, and I went. They had a big. They did a video on it. On it, didn't they? Because they uh, they had people saying about it couldn't be dual air, but they reckon they said you know you wanted big air, we gave you big air. It, we didn't imagine you'd want to completely close close off one of them. What you might want to use it like most of what the fucking design is there for. It's kind of like that's just fucking stupid. I've never noticed that. That's just fucking stupid. Right. Yeah, <laughs> just, just ruined it for everyone. Fuck. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> Let's be honest, right? I love the goon one. I think the goon one I really, really like, but I didn't notice that. But then again, they also did the K fun with the massive drilled out K funds, which were just fucking stupid because the hole in the middle of the the hole that led up to the deck was like yay big. And then they got these fucking gaping holes on either side, and you're like, "Well, that's going to work." I love that. It's like the whole way round the fucking bottom of your <laughs> atomizer, and then a tiny little chimney. I don't see. Yeah. I don't see a problem, to be honest, with it not closing off to one air hole. Because why the hell are you going to buy a 24 mil eighty to put one coil in it? You know, it's no, but it's meant to have two it's, coils. You can, it, you can open it up. He's, he's right that if you open it up, I've got to show you on here now. It does. I will say that. Let me just just say for for the, for Rick's point is don't put the other hole in it. Then yeah, it should. I mean, yeah, just make it. it yeah, what no, is it? It didn't need to be single, single coil, did it? Yeah. Yeah. Why bother? Yeah. Just Get a Marquis. And the thing is, if you did it single coil, and I don't mind sticking a piece of sellotape over one side and going, "Well, fuck it," nobody's going to see it. So it's kind of yeah, just doing that. So yeah, nice one, Sam. That's fucked it. Um, <laughs> <laughs> um, <laughs> <laughs> Next up, uh, I've got the EVL Reaper V2 stainless steel, uh, which Ooh. is quite nice. That, that one's not a clone of anything, is it? It's what? Sorry. John? Say it again, John. Say it again, John. That one's not a clone of anything, is it? No, it's not. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, no. Nice um, to see. <laughs> you can get the titanium ones as well, and I'm, I'm liking it, but... I'm going through. I'm going through the phase again. Once more, of doing that whole put the cotton down the channels. Does it touch the deck a little bit? All that kind of fiddly stuff, and it fucks me off. It does fuck me off. I've gone, I've gone past that now with vaping. It's like we don't need it anymore. 
You seem to be moving further and further away from your mic. Yeah, it's your mic. Yeah, you got a wrong mic on, Craig. I forgot. I'm getting Hodor as well. Hodor. That's all right. Is that all right? That's all right. I'm getting Hodor from you. Yeah, I, can hear I think it's just general Hodor, but it's. Yeah, it's don't worry okay. about that. I think anyway. it's just. <clears throat> yeah, just yeah, just yeah. I'll go. Like, I'll go like that. It's probably the volume on this. Um. So yeah, it's all right. I'm kind of liking it. It's just. The channels thing, the airflow is really good on it, but the wicking just doesn't quite keep up yet. But I'm going to give it a few more builds and test it and try it and see what happens. Um, got that on the E Fusion, and I've also got Planet Cracker in that as well. Uh, and the last two, very quickly, I've been trying the DNA 75C out, the um, Therion, um, and the Origin on top. I've been hitting that all week. Um, I really like the board, it's really, really good. I didn't call it a chip there, you know, it's Rick. I'd be glad. <laughs> yeah, I'd be proud. Um, I'm really liking the C. I think it's really, really good. And I run it quite close to that six volt limit as well. So it's kind of nice having that punch on it. So liking that. And then finally, the other new thing I got this week is I've got the Hussar RDTA in, which is this fucking insanely complex fucking deck system thing that's going on on the top of it. But it's really low down on the inside of it and everything. It's like um, a Swiss watch. Yeah, it's really, really crazy. It's really, really crazy. I'm, I'm still not convinced of it, and it also cost quite a lot of money to get it imported as well. So it was like, I'm not, I'm not sure. I'm not sure. It was, I mean, it was basically. I think it came to about 150 quid or something like that altogether to get it in, and it's just yeah. Mm. And I'm not wholly convinced. I don't think it's as good as a Nada, just. But I haven't put enough builds in it to make that official. So, so we, we need an update next week on that one. Yeah, so we need an update next week. For and, sure. And on, I'm using the Dacus. I've got the old Dacus. Lovely. Yes, yes. lovely. Is that, was it on last week, that one? Or is that the first time that's been? No, it was on last week. Yeah, it was on last week. So, but yeah, so just been using that. And that is me and Rick. Rick. Yeah, what was the last Tom Cruise been? film you saw, Rick? Minority yeah, no, well, 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 hold on. Right. What, <laughs> what are you vaping on? How's your week been? And how many times have you sworn while you've been at the office because a customer's asked a silly question? <laughs> oh, fuck. I don't know. I can't answer. No, that. I do about 50 yeah, times a day. Um, <laughs> Just I today, though. I tally on it, but I'd probably say average of every 10 minutes. All day, every ten oh, minutes. Nah, not that many times actually. Probably once an hour, I reckon. Once an hour. Yeah. Last Tom Cruise film. Uh, da, 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 da. Days of Thunder. Top Gun. No. <laughs> <laughs> no. What was that film when he was with his Aussie missus, Nicole Kidman? Yeah, that's it. Eyes Wide Shut. That was pretty good. Didn't mind that. I haven't seen it. I just remember boobs. That's all I remember. From yeah, that's why I think I remember it. Yeah. Yeah, that's all I got. Um, <laughs> yeah. Well, yeah, so week's been busy. Week's been really good. I, we've got a member of staff this week. So hey. I want to say thanks to Carly. She's worked at the bit for Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, and uh, she's helped us out greatly. Um, <laughs> yeah, that? it's brilliant. Yeah, it's great to have a bit of bit of help after all these all this time. You know. Um, but yeah, what am I vaping on anyway? I'll go straight in with the. I've got my Dacus, my Star, star Plat, with the XO, Cleto XO on top there. I'm just. I, I pulled the coil out and I've got the rebuildable deck from the original Cleto in there and it works perfectly. Really good. Dead tasty. <laughs> yeah. And I'm vaping some of the French, some of the French dudes juice in there. I found a bottle of this on the shelf and it. I don't know. It's just some Sembang. random French dude, isn't it? Sembang <laughs> juice, melon peach. It's quite you nice. Just got it off some ran random French dude, didn't you, Rick? That's what. I... the French blokes. I got it off the French blokes. <laughs> in the cafe. Oh yeah, a jam, a jam, yeah. A jam, yeah. Sorry, yeah. Only mango guys. Yes, yes. Uh, vapeology, isn't it? Vapeology in France. Yeah. Yeah. I reckon so they were just in the EXO. I reckon uh, they were just Londoners that were just passing by and they put on a French accent just to give you something. We've got loads of juicer from them. I've still got bottles of juice in front of me that I haven't even touched yet. 
they were just giving it to us. We're trying to eat our full English, and they're giving us juice. <laughs> nice. I like it. Uh, what else? Yeah, Goon 1.5 on the on a stainless rogue that I got at Expo. Um, Ding. Hey. Ding. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, before it all went crazy, I bought one for full price and then Dale, you bastard, drop the price. <coughs> Get rid of them. There you go. And those, those are, they're the jaws. Um, in that, what have I got? Nectarus. Hey, having a on Nectarus because I ran out of that juice. What was it called, John? Which one? Oh, uh, well, the, 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 the. here it is. Oh, let's do this. Let's do this. I really enjoyed that. Let's do this. Really nice menthol hit. It's um, a, yeah, brand new from uh, <coughs> DB. Um, it's one of like those that you, if you like raspberry mint and you want it to be a bit more fruity, let's do this. Is is yes, yeah. cracking. I prefer and it. Ordered it. Ordered it again. I prefer it to pass for a minute. Uh, yeah. Uh, what else? Okay, yeah, I've got my another Goon point 1.5, Skonk converted on my uh, Tippy Mods, Aiden Lenane, Skonker. Sweet. And uh, Voodoo Boo in that. Usual thing. That's it. That's all I'm vaping on. Wow. Ah, pretty funky. Pretty funky wow. stuff. Oh, we've got, right. we got news then, have we? Yeah, let's go into the news. Shall I start? Go on, then. <coughs> Gotcha. Um, I was just going to go with one thing I just picked up and I wanted to put into the news. Not really news. That is, I suppose. Um, I'll give a bad portrayal of this because I, I, sometimes people post things on baking groups and no, not 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 personal to the person who posted it, but I lose interest the second I start reading the OP because I, it, it, for me, it's no point. But Somebody posted uh, they were watching something on the BBC and a drug gang on a TV programme or some um, drug addicts on the BBC programme were also vaping and they thought that shined a bad light on vaping. Um, and I just wanted to talk about it briefly to ask each of you about it because... I don't think you can portray it bad. I think the use of it becoming normalised is never a bad thing. I have no problem with it at all. Um, when you think back to the 80s, think of every baddie or goodie, John McClane, Bruce Willis and Die Hard smokes cigarettes. Um, baddies smoked, goodies smoked, and uh, it was one of those things. And it, it was because <clears throat> it was normal in society to smoke. And now, as it becomes abnormal to smoke, People vape, <laughs> and I don't see that that shows in a bad light. I think it actually all it does is normalise vaping, which I can't see as a bad thing. If it happens on a BBC drama that the baddie or the drug addict or the whatever or the murderer smokes, I don't think you're trying to say vapors <laughs> are drug addicts or vapors are murderers or vapors are bad people. I think Go you're on, just showing that uh, people vape. Sam, what do you think? What do you reckon? Yeah, I'd I'd, I'd totally agree. Um... <laughs> or they've got vapes. They might, you're going to get vapes. You're going to take up heroin. Like, come on. I don't. I don't think so. Um, <laughs> I, I, th I think. It, I don't think it was shown like that. I think it was shown I, I like drug that, addicts were vaping. I think, like you say, any kind of normalisation. Like I saw. I noticed there's a few hip hop film clips now where they actually are almost advertising their vape pens. Yeah. yeah. Um, where they're, they're vaping, and then they'll do like a close up of the actual unit itself. Um, I don't think that that's a, a bad thing. You know, at the end of the day, um, if people are smoking a vape in a film clip rather than puffing on a big fat cigar, it's the same thing, really. <coughs> There's a Kevin yeah. Spacey yeah. film, yeah. isn't there, where he vapes all the way through? Uh, is, is that, uh, which film is that? Oh, no. We've got, uh, we've got to back oh, it up now. What's the guy? No, what's the guy? No, it's not uh, What's the guy from uh, Ser mean, Serendipity? Uh, John Cusack. Yeah, I think it's him. Yeah, John Cusack. I think John Cusack's done my vapes all the way through. <clears throat> I think Johnny Depp did a terrible film uh, that got banned, but he did. He, he, that was when we were on Cigarettes, but he vaped all the way through. Pirates of the Caribbean. <laughs> yeah, Pirates of the Caribbean. <laughs> oh, look at them blinking baddies. Oh, fuck yeah. Oh, she's <laughs> running. Yes. Little glowing little cigar like. It's if anyone uh, got an 1860. <laughs> I, th I think celebrities have got a big role to play in it because the public perception of vaping is 
terrible right now. Mm. And it doesn't need... Gorillas in the bank. Yeah. It shows yeah. how gullible it people needs, are, though, doesn't it? It's normalising. It shows how gullible that people are with all the media spin that they actually uh, believe in it. Ian, yeah. Ian Schwartz has just said in chat that uh, I, I haven't seen it, but um, Spacey vapes in House of Cards. So Kevin Spacey. Oh yeah, yeah. I think I remember there's, that. Yeah, there's, they, there's they, one they... scene where he tries it or something. Mm -hmm. ah. uh, oh, but I think I just think it's normalisation. I, I, I know, I know you feel so because you jumped on the thread and said exactly. Yeah. It's just me, me and you being not our normal yeah, I selves. Just, I, I just think, yeah, it's like fuck it. What does it matter? It's. Like, I mean, it was that. I used the example of my mate years ago when he was stood there and he pointed at some guy who was in the over the road and went, that guy over there, he's a copper, he is. And it's like, how do you know when he went, well, he's, black, he's wearing black boots. It's like, <laughs> yeah. yeah, just I'm, I'm all for it appearing wherever the fuck it doesn't matter. I don't care if it's the mass murderer in a film or something like that, he vapes. It doesn't matter. It's just, if people can't separate it, then, you know, I don't care. There's bigger things to be worrying about. Than that. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, totally agree. Yeah. Uh, uh, drive, just drive, the, hard, thought... drive Hard was the film with John. Oh, was that the film? Oh, okay. I, I, I don't with think John, we only go first, I think, now. Richard knows in person. Um, I, think, I think we're all of the same opinion, that it's just... Great. I, I, well, you can't so really show it. It's still that. quite taboo, though, isn't it? It's obviously still quite taboo because there's loads of celebrity vapors that never talk about it. Never. I quite like you get naughty ones, don't you? Like uh, DiCaprio, which is the thing that that picture that gets shown over again. When he didn't, he wouldn't not vape. Um, I can't remember what a reward show it was, but it was like three, four years ago. It was the Grammys or something? Had... No, not the Grammys. The um, it was Os something the Oscars or whatever it was. Oh. Yeah, the Oscars. It was a big one. Yeah, and he and he vaped, and he and they. I think somebody asked him not to, and he said it's not smoking. Just carried on doing it. So he was an arsehole vaper, <laughs> but yeah. uh, he vaped. Yeah. <laughs> Fuck you and your fucking shitty attitude, Leonardo. Well, we, DiCaprio. We've been living off that picture of Leonardo DiCaprio now for about two and a half years. <laughs> oh, the one with Samuel yeah, L. So Jackson, that ridiculous steampunk thing. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> who's the one? Um, yeah, Ka who's Catherine one Heigl for... with a Proveri. That that's how I was going to say yeah from knocked up yeah she's always got that that pro very that's about three years old now that picture. So, Samuel yeah, Jackson came into a anyway. vape shop in Australia when he was on on tour for a movie. Really, cool as fuck. Just to go shop in Melbourne. Beach. I think it was a shop in Melbourne. They popped in. They had him on on. Uh, they, they posted a photo of the CCTV. <laughs> Fucking Samuel Jackson's in the shop. Ah! <laughs> 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 that would be pretty cool I to admit you yeah, like, keep yeah. it to yourself okay. did he say can I get some motherfucking vapes from this motherfucking <laughs> shop <laughs> oh, <God>. <laughs> <laughs> say what again <laughs> yeah. say what milligram oh, again what? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. say what again <laughs> say what again <laughs> <laughs> uh, apparently he was only in really short because he doesn't as soon as people realized he was there he kind of a few a few people came in to check it out and he wanted to sort of sneak off real quick so he wasn't in there immediately long. i think he probably started smoking straight away fuck this <laughs> i'll deal with these fuky bastards i'm gonna smoke <clears throat> um a quick boring one um the vaguely vaping related podcast and uh with chandler um i, I was on it i was really late i was listening to the podcast and i was on a podcast um who we lost rick's form off um so if you want to hear me talk bollocks for about um uh, five minutes uh, and uh, and a few other uh, everybody else he interviewed that day he did uh, section part one of vape expo uk and part two is coming out this weekend Go and subscribe because uh, it, you know what? It, it, um, it's really good actually. I, sit in the, I, I was walking the dog and listening to a podcast. Yeah, it's because the vaguely a vaping. So when you podcast. listen to, oh, just one thing: when you listen to it, try to imagine John doing hand movements when he's when he's talking because it does work. I don't do it. You know I thought that, but I don't do it on the show. Anybody who's ever ever come up to me in sort of thing, I'm quite bad on the show, but in real life. I could could go with no sound because I'm always doing hand movements for everything. So I still <laughs> Yeah, if you ever stop and talk to me at a convention, you'll see that I you have to kind of stand slightly back because I will just do hand movements through everything. Get a job, <laughs> you know, with the sticks. 
Easy. I could just <laughs> chat. I could just in there. And play with it. This or way. Doing, or traffic. Or be a traffic policeman. Just like, yeah, yeah. In yeah, front of everybody. Yeah. What the, what's your big convention you have every year? And there's fucking John out the front. This way, guys, are in here, fucking yeah, over there. Yeah, exactly. That'd be great. Orderly fucking queue over here, please. <laughs> Franken skulls over there. <laughs> Fuck you, you got. <clears throat> Rick, have you got the shots of the <laughs> the next the next era? The uh, deck shots of the next day. Let's have a look. Let's have a look. Yeah, I've got them. <laughs> Released this week. Oh, the list went up today on um, Vape Point Mods. If you're not a member, um, tough shit. But if you are, go over to VWM and uh, and uh, this is their new squonking atomizer. Um, it's uh, I think I call it a mesh atomizer. I know it's both, but that's the deck. So it's a central wick. Uh, I quite like the side cut on the um, positive post. Where you put the lead in rather than being a, under the screw. I quite like that. That's quite Are you getting one, John? Considering it, and Craig's thinking about getting one. I've already I've put, I've put my name on the list. For I've the... already done it. That's a mess. Yeah. I've got to pay for a flight to India. So I kind of, I'm like, uh, 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 I'm in the middle. The thread on, on, on Fakeware Mods right now consists of me going, yeah. I've done it and sent it to John, and then there's a message underneath from Greg saying, oh, I'll try and sort him a squonker out, to which I responded, don't bother, he's big time now, someone will send him one for free. <laughs> so. There you go, there's cotton in it. Uh, there you go, with some proper material yeah. in there. There you yeah. go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Point. They've kind of that's why they did the. If you look at the, if you go back to the first shot, you'll see the, the, the hole is um, for extra feeding. Oh yeah, I can't, I can't really still using steel mesh. Is that, is that I mesh? still use steel mesh. It's a good. <laughs> it's yeah. good. Yeah, but but the, the answer is no. Then. <laughs> no, they're not. They're not Sam. Oh, I thought yeah. that was gone. <laughs> no, still alive, alive. But that's been a lot of. Vapors in the UK, like lower ohm, uh, higher, uh, sorry, high ohm, low wattage vapors in the UK still. And uh, we've always like been the known for Of old school mesh fucking wicked. Yeah, fuck it. It's still, it, it still works. I think, and if I think of I, is, in I think of a bunch of like bearded blokes sitting in a pub in, in England somewhere, just all talking about their fucking steel mesh fucking genesis <laughs> and my sense. Yeah, all getting hot spots. Yeah. yeah. No. <laughs> all I'm swearing. I can build it. It's got to be like a dark, dim lit sort of pub somewhere. You know, it's very damp. They're all sitting around a table with their steel mesh. Yeah. Has anyone got any 32 gauge? <laughs> all balancing, the, all balancing their beer on the radiator because it's too cold. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, yeah, I still like mesh. I still like it. I think it's, I, uh, it looks good to me. I think it's well designed. And uh, this is Squonker with a little tank. I think it's quite cool. Uh, there's lots of people in, uh, you know, a few people in Schmick Schmullin, Mesh for the win. In chat. Yeah. Matt W. I get... love the flavour of mesh. Nothing like uh, sucking on a bit of metal, is there? I suppose. Oh, shit. Oh, nice chinny taste uh, to it. At seven oh seven says Leonardo DiCaprio still uses mesh. <laughs> I've heard that a dry hit on steel mesh is much much more forgiving. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, so mean. It, it, it feels like you've been like you've just vaped on somebody dragging the nails down a chalkboard. That's what it really. No, it sad. doesn't. If you do it right, fucking fucking mesh tart. Uh, <laughs> as I said earlier, I'm going out with some openings at the weekend on Saturday. Uh, Dan Goodchild, Jimmy Parker, and Mike Dacus are coming down to the sunny. Well, please, please, fucking be sunny. Uh, Felix the Coast and uh, Mrs. John is coming out as well to go out for a few beers. Hey. So uh, yeah, I'll see you on uh, Saturday, Dan and Jimmy and, and Dacus, Mr. Mike Dacus. <clears throat> Trim the beard or don't run with a backpack. I told you when I saw you. Um, <laughs> <laughs> vape fest um like i said last week uh but i said again vape fest coming up uh the 5th and 6th of august this year it, it's gonna be so massive um they've got loads of squonkers loads of atomizers of all kinds and um 
loads of liquid. I know, uh, and and uh, and it's fake fest. It's like the it's the best. It's the best one for being chill now. And Flitzy, um, me and yeah, and Flitzy. Over so going to be there. Um, yeah. And Dean from Corvo, so sitting around from the US as well. Um, uh, uh, with Andrew, his uh, financial man. They're all coming over. Yay. This week about what? Because uh, just had Nick have got a marquee at uh, Vape Fest, and if you want to meet either the lady who draws the pictures on your orders when you ask for a picture, you're going to meet either because I asked Eva to work uh, at Vape Fest this week, yeah. and um, she's up for it. So Eva's going to be working on the stall. Mrs. John is going to be working on the Just Had Nick stall, and uh, and uh, Claire. So it's a lady, a lady run stall, and we were just trying to work out what we're going to do, but we're going to bring. We're bringing everything we've got. So you're not going to get a rundown flavor. There will be, <clears throat> the only difference is we're not going to do all the Nick choices that we do online. So we're going to, but it's still fine. We're going to do three, six, and 12 because that's what people want. But we will do 12, which yeah, there's not many places you can get 12. And uh, we're going to do 12. Uh, and yeah, yeah, and you'll be able to meet some of the people who supply the liquids to us because uh, they're going to come and hang out uh, with us at the Just Had Nick. Uh, and obviously all the normal things from Vape Fest are going to be there, the the raffle, the huge, it's got to be one of the biggest raffles, it's definitely the biggest raffle at any expo type thing, it's, it's absolutely massive, I'll be reading that, Whee! and um, I'm trying to think of all the other things at Vape Fest, uh, every... it's still two bloody months away, Brilliant. It's still too, I'm trying to build up. I will say, uh, say, if you want to get your other committee, fuck you. If you want to, if you want to, I'll read out the vendors while we're at it. No, if you want to go and get, get your the hype train going, you're going to get the hype yeah, train exactly. going. Exactly. Woo -hoo. Woo -hoo. Like, this to August, just like yeah, all the same people that have been the last four years. Yeah. <laughs> but you'll get. What was that else? Fucking hell, Richard's up. paid you well. Well, we're gonna um, <laughs> stop being mean to me. <laughs> um, <laughs> it is. <laughs> Damien's gonna be there. Damien Morton's gonna be there. Uh, Mark Todd's gonna be there. Scott Bonner's gonna be there on a Sunday. It's a. Uh, it's it's the biggest. Well, it's the most chill that one. Especially, uh, I'm not one for Richard talks about it on his vlog the other week. I'm not one for uh, nudie ladies and, and and 58 different types of music booming in your head all the time. And um, for me, it's a nice rundown. So, yeah, so I'll send it out. Thanks. All right, fuck you, Craig. <laughs> Craig. Yes. They told me to do it. They told me to do it twenty minutes ago. I know they did. Yeah. I'm, I'm guessing that. I'm guessing that. Richard, <laughs> so, Richard so, you're ruining yeah. our show, Richard. Right. Craig. Um, <laughs> next, How's happy birthday, first of all, to Mick Blizzard. There you go. Yay! Um, Craig, happy birthday, Mick. Happy that was wicked. Sixty-two. Young and sixty. It's no age. It's no age. No age. Catching him up. Um, next up, I've got some images. Rick's got the Flave Tank. Alliance Tech are bringing out a new little tank thing, which is also bottom feed and also non-bottom feed. So uh, apparently, a lot of people are quite liking the, the the BF version that they've done of it. So God damn, I've just got a message from Richard with a tongue sticking out going. So, um, yeah, so keep your eye out for that one. Alliance Tech are doing their thing, so uh, really liking I quite that. Like that. I quite like that, yeah. I, quite, I don't know if I like that step in on the top cap, but I like the deck. Yeah. Yeah, I quite like it. It's they're cool. always well made. Yeah, yeah. All, all their stuff's really well made as well, so you know they're, they're pretty good. Um, next up, uh, this is from Thomas Buckley. I think he posted it on SV, actually, which is uh, Young Yol Kim has closed down his videos. Yeah. Um, if anybody does, uh, you, you see a lot of people because you wouldn't take the piss now. This was the guy, uh, um, uh, South Korean um, chap who did the silent tutorials for a lot of mesh atomizers uh, and he put hundreds of hours into making these videos. Uh, never, never speaks and um, makes these absolutely fantastic videos that are incredibly specific. And anyone who's ever built a Genesis atomizer will know how specific you have to be with these things. And and he went through everything step by step and measured everything out and, and shot the whole thing completely silent so anybody else could use it. And it apps just uh, changed mesh atomizers and the, their ease of use. Uh, just did. And, and all, 
uh, I haven't got enough the high praise for the bloke. Um, and it turns out he had a, he's into cycling as well. And he had a bike accident some time ago. So if anybody still speaks to him, please pass on that people really do give a shit. And he 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 did an amazing thing by making um, mesh atomizers usable. Because I do know that a lot of people struggle. And uh, whenever anybody was struggling, I pointed them towards it because he did the, the, the like he did the best build videos that have ever been done on Genesis Atomizers. Absolutely incredible joke. So next up. Sorry, <laughs> he was a, he's a hero. He's a genius. Yeah. Um, next up, I just want to point people towards uh, Scott. I get to your 69s video that he did for the mod maker <laughs> cleaning jig. Because if anybody gets a chance to watch the video, it is, it, it, it's intentional yet unintentional comedy genius at the same time it is it, it's amazing i'm not going to i'm not going to spoil the plot there are no spoilers but needless to say go and watch scott's video on the, on his cleaning jig cuz it's just fucking epic it's just epic um right next up is via Oster on Reddit, um, Icos and Philip Morris have got themselves in a little bit of trouble, apparently. Um, you know that, you know that horrible thing that they did. I'll try and find the right thing here. I've got, an, I've got the article actually, so you can see it. Application window, one of these chair, yeah, right? That thing here, which is Phil, Philip Morris. Icos finds itself a mid controversy. Vaping still the safest alternative to smoking. The study says. Uh, I'll put a link up in the uh, group. We'll ignore these two names here, which are both the Daily Mail and Fox News, obviously. Oh, these um, are big in Japan, aren't they? Yeah, yeah. They're kind of, they're, they're appearing. They really this push is old. Hard. We've I mean, already, we covered this over a year ago, Craig. Yeah, they got, but this is the interesting bit, which is that PMI, Philip Morris, has invested over $3 billion in research and development of the product they uh, dubbed Heat or alternatively Heat Stick which is what this thing is, is it actually heats up tobacco rather than... Uh, it's, like a, it's a dry paper. herb vaporizer. Exactly, it works exactly the same way as the, the ones that the uh, wheat dry herb, you know, those... Yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. So, yeah. Yeah, they got the... Um, anyway, the um, there's an article and it goes on about how it actually works and what it produces. Um, and they found out that the thing is actually nowhere near as safe as... As vaping, they checked versus how safe vaping is, and it turns out that this thing's pretty shite as well. So last time we spoke about this, they were really pushing it hard in in Italy, massively. Uh, they've got a few reviewers to take it as well. Um, yeah, it's gonna have to be really funny. and uh, stamp this shit out. Whenever you see it, don't repost it. Don't pick the thing up and post it because we don't yeah. care. Is it, is it right that you can't put a normal cigarette in it? That's a good. Know. You have to put this funny little cigarette in it. No, you Which can't. Which just totally <laughs> defeats the logic. Wait, wait, wait. So you can't just put a normal cigarette in it. You've got no. to get specific cigarettes to put in. No, they're, they're like uh, they're about that. Why not? Yeah. Like, just they're about that. Like... Yeah, but the, the point. You know what the point is? They just want to keep on pimping their tobacco. That's what they want to do. That's yeah. it. More money and, uh, and less tax. They don't. You know, if they can get power, if they can make it a safe alternative to smoking, they won't have to pay tax because it's not being ignited. It's not combustible. So. They're literally at the moment they're making they're losing ninety percent or oh, fuck that ninety eight percent of their money to tax. They, they, fuck, they don't want that. They want the swing sixties and seventies to come back. They want they want mm -hmm. some fucking big money. Yeah. These guys. So um yeah so there's that. I'll put a link in the group anyway and see what there is inside of there. Uh, I have to stop this because my notes are on the same fucking screen. That's just typical, isn't it? I'll put them on this other one over here. So I've got them. Um, I'll put a link up next up. There's another thing that appeared on Reddit, which was to do with... Uh, oh, fucking screen share you again. Application window, one of those, which is this thing here, which is scientists at British American Tobacco find e-cigarette vapor has minimal impact to human cells. Um I don't know if this was anything that may have appeared in the thing on the BBC tonight, given that was American tobacco as well. Uh, it's, by, but, it's the same thing. They managed to get in Tesco's and they're getting it everywhere. Please, yeah. for fuck's sake. <laughs> I mean, you're all vapors and you're all not. You know, people who watch this show um, have been around a while, but they they tried to kill you the first time. Don't give any more money, for fuck's sake. 
So, um, yeah, so they've got this, uh, the results of the research on e-cigarette has been published in two journals, and they've got this very stuff. Again, I'll put a link into the group. It's quite an interesting well, We covered that again. <laughs> again, we did that six months ago. I was just on the yeah. planet. We did the bat research. Um, and now, as soon as I, I, I'm waiting for the next, I'm waiting for, like, the Vipe 2, and they come out with something. Else. I'm sure it's going to be. Yeah, yeah, it'll be horrific. Soon. Right, next up is, I'll see whether this is showing on here or not. It is. There's Richard Hurst ass hat let's get to the let's get to the point here we go folks are we ready here you go yes yes it is somebody's gone and put a vaporizer and a spinner into the same oh, thing oh yeah i did see that yeah, yeah i saw that <laughs> Fuck <it. laughs> i had a bit called? of voltage drop to your mod but it spins yeah, it, so it's all good. called the cash in <laughs> Oh. <laughs> oh, that this is good, very, man. very much. Is it from the same makers that did that turbo RDA? Oh, <laughs> <laughs> with the with the, oh, that'd be, if it had all three, that would win. If it did, I would all like three, it if it spun when you vaped on it. That would be. Oh, yeah, I, could, I think they need to do one. Yeah. If we're doing stuff that you find in party bags, they need one that does that thing where it goes. Well, <laughs> comes out of something with a feather on the end. <laughs> I think it's back. We doing? What's that? That's just me vaporizer. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> the kids fucking love it. <laughs> right. So uh, next up, I'm going to go to. Uh, I'll I'll leave the the one I've got in the middle until I've gone past all these articles. Um, right. I spotted this on the Metro, which was uh, what are cloud competitions and are they safe? Well, <laughs> now I've never been to one that looked like that. Yeah. Is this yeah. the Kardashians do a vape comp? <laughs> yeah. No, I, I think I think Rich is unsure because there's an attractive woman there. That's all fine. <laughs> That's not what <laughs> they're not even blowing clouds, <laughs> are they? That's just a whiskey fake. That's not a black t shirt. <laughs> yeah, where's her fucking beard? <laughs> um but there was the interesting bit with the with most of the article, it's like the normal kind of, you know, what there is that you get in the metro, but then it got to it got to uh, this bit down here, which is those who watch cloud competitions are known as cloud gazers. <laughs> <laughs> really? <laughs> Hashtag cloud gazers. <laughs> so that was, so that was that's going to stick now. That is. Oh that's, my god! Oh Vic, Vic, we need to when we do. <laughs> So you know, start of the review. You know, you've talked about what the uh, the device is. Now we're gonna. How does, how does it fucking vape, dickhead? So we'll have a puff. Now we can do a bit of cloud gazing for all of you subscribers out there. <laughs> let's let's cut to some cloud gazing. Well, I'll tell you what. Well, I'll, I'll throw five or a tenner to charity for the first per, first reviewer that puts cloud gazing into one of their reviews. Now. There you go. <laughs> but that's epic. So yeah, cloud gazers. That's what we need in the world. Um, and lastly, um, was Cosmopolitan. Um, these are the top ten da dating deal breakers, apparently. Uh, just, just browsing now, this, Craig, was it? I was browsing Cosmo. I've got a subscription to Cosmo. It's, it's fucking epic, brilliant. If you want to know how women work, just subscribe to Cosmo. That's what I say. <laughs> Amazing. Um, anyway. Um, I just, I just scrolled down all of this very stuff here, which was that um, that vaping and smoking uh, were quite bad things, apparently. they In the top 10 turn-offs, an inconsiderate vaping and smoking, 27%. But uh, what they said was more than a third, 37%, admitted that vaping would deter them on a date com <laughs> compared to 27% who listed smoking. So you're 10% more likely to get dumped if you vape. <laughs> So I can believe that. Really? Really. Yeah, especially uh, if you keep talking about it all the time. <laughs> <laughs> so there you go. So, if you, I'm wondering why I'm single, and I think I found the answer. It, it, it really would put me off the Anna. How was the date? Oh, it was lovely, but he wouldn't shut up about his fucking steel mesh Genesis. <laughs> 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 um, I've got a little bit of a hot spot. Just hold on one second. Just <laughs> the tank. 
<laughs> no, stop, stop, stop for a minute. Stop for a minute. Stop for a minute. You've 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 hit the on button. Five clicks. No, you you got to do it quickly. That's too quick. Just 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 five. Here, let me show you. <laughs> the more just look at the more, look at the size of his point. Tiny. Just thinking. The more fat you are. The more phallic you're under the sheets and you're going. The more trouble you're in. As soon yeah, as you yeah, pop it, it down. 25 watts. <laughs> this list of questions a that a woman has for a potential potential suitor. You know, what kind of job has he got? You know, what? Where does he live? You know, all that sort of stuff. Vapors. Is she a mouth to lung or is she a lung hip vapor? <laughs> <laughs> does she rebuild? <laughs> is she into mechanicals? <laughs> Premium juice. Premium juice. All she can't drink donuts and stuff like that. You know, no, don't, don't I would anything that's Could you imagine that? That'd be really good on eHarmony, just where they've put classy, and you're right, she fucking isn't. She uses Poundland <laughs> juice. Fuck that bitch. <laughs> I've got I'm these high-end mods. End mods. I've got home and yeah, No, even brand. hobbies, it just says, you know, go for life. Smiley face. <laughs> <laughs> it was... It was going really well, but a bottle of Red Astaire fell out of a handbag. Uh, yeah, <laughs> definitely leave straight away. Fuck you, bitch. I'm off. <laughs> so, yeah, there you go. That's why I'm single. That's what I'm going by that. I'm going by Cosmo. Um, the last thing I wanted to mention was uh, last week, we the other box that's caused a bit of consternation lately was the exoskeleton. This. <sighs> oh, that, but that thing... Have you got yours, have you, Sam? Have you got one? I never got one. Um, it's uh, is it Wismec? Yeah. Hi, Joy. Wismec. Wismec don't. They're one company that hasn't sent me stuff directly, so I don't. I only get Wismec stuff from vendors, I suppose. I haven't got anything directly with them. Um, but I looked at it and I was like, you know what? I'm fucking glad I don't get Wismec products. I can't be fucking asked with that <laughs> thing. <laughs> so, it is a monstrosity, isn't it? It's a nasty thing. Yeah. Someone awesome. sent me a photo. Of one of theirs, I'll see if I can find it. Not the melt. Um, carry on. I'll try and find this, but it's ridiculous. It's. <laughs> oh no! But the what what I was wondering was, has anybody actually tested one to destruction yet? Because it seemed to be the hot topic. I was wondering if any anybody at all so far has videoed themselves actually <clears> destroying <throat> one yet. My next video this Saturday. This Saturday, I am throwing the shit out of this on Saturday and putting it up. Oh, you're gonna chuck it. Cool, 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 cool. Yeah, yep. I'm, I, but, right, I'm, but I'm, gonna, go. I'm gonna do it to destruction. So if it takes, it, it's just one a of, case of how long it lasts. One of my oh. subscribers sent me this. This is his mate. I'm not sure what has happened to it. <laughs> <laughs> oh no! <laughs> the cages work. Oh. The cages work though. It kept, yeah, the it kept everything in. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> it's, it's, contained. It's, a, it's a quarantine it's case. <laughs> <laughs> excellent, excellent battery venting, as you can see. <laughs> it's yeah. got, it's oh. got mileage, though, hasn't it? When it blows up, at least it doesn't go everywhere. Yeah, stay together. <laughs> That's quite good, isn't it? It's brilliant. Uh, it's got some decent vent holes on it, hasn't it, really? That box. Yes. <laughs> it's got really big vent holes right now. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah that was that was going to be my thing I'm, I'm waiting for richard now to see what he does so uh that's me i think um i'm gonna say sam is there any kind of news or things that you've seen that you've just thought tell us all about the tesla sam <laughs> oh, yeah. Mine's go on, man. work in a box yeah come on Joe's well, stark think... go on so this is the bit mech the tesla bit mech i think it is um says on the box Starter kit. <laughs> Amazing. Right there. Starter kit. It's everything you oh. need to quit smoking. Um, oh, imagine yeah. giving that to a new to a new vapor. Like you just go, I've had enough of cigarettes. Here you go. <laughs> Try so this. For those that don't know what this does, it it's 
semi unregulated it does have some sort of safety protections in there but basically it's a series mod you can't adjust the voltage output it's 8.4 volts in theory obviously you've got voltage drop and all the rest of it but it does 8.4 volts um and it has two atomizers two sort of kennedy style atomizers mm. and is it going to work for me oh, it's doing something funny Fuck, it's just flashing at me Anyway, um, and it gives you 8.4 volts to each. You can turn off one of them and just vape, you know, the other. You've got this little... Oh. You can turn off each channel as such. You can run one or two. Anyway, but it's always 8.4 volts to the, to the coils. Has a minimum resistance of 0.1 ohms. So we all know that obviously with series and 8.4 volts, way too fucking low um, in terms of resistance. But what is also really fucked up is it comes with coils, comes with four coils to install that come in at like 0.3 ohms each. So at 8.4 volts, you know, you can do the fucking maths, 0.3. It's ridiculous. It's fucking dangerous. Um, I think this sort of stuff is fine when you specifically, and it doesn't really explain anywhere in the manual that it's 8.4 volts and it's series and anything about, proper you know resistances when you're applying at 8.4 volts it's just fucking dangerous this stuff's fine but they they've just they've marketed it fucking poorly that's a, that's just i mean that's going to take 80 84 amps of point one. yeah um if and the fire button is stuck on me so i, I was fucking tossing and pinching the coils getting them set up and the fire button stuck on me I had to fucking rip the back off and pop the batteries out to fucking stop them from melting the coils. Jeez. Oh, fuck. Mm. So yeah. this won't be getting a proper review. This will be getting a warning video um, and a call out to Tesla to fucking sort this shit out because that's just, that's just stupid. Yeah, I, can't, I, can't, I, I think every, every reviewer is trying to get in touch with them and they're just like, yeah, whatever, we'll take the starter kit off the front and put, fuck the rest yeah. of it. Yeah, Dean, the vaping biker. Shout out to to Dean. Um, he's done a really good article, little um, little write up on his website about all the problems with it. Because there's not just the issues that I mentioned. It's also about what's in the manual and the way that they've worded it is really really poor. Because it actually says to use a 0.1 ohm coil on um, on a dual coil and 0.2 um, on a single or something like that. It's just it's just poorly poorly. Ran the wrong way. Ran the wrong way, isn't it? Yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah, they've written it the wrong way. And, and neither neither resistances are what you should be recommending for someone to use at 8.4 volts. Minimum should be, you know, 0. 0.3. Even that's um, too gnarly, isn't it? You want about, and even want that about is, 0. 0.8, is, didn't you, really? 0. Exactly. 8, well, you know, but, for most people, 0. 0.4 would be, you know, pretty gnarly as it is. I vape usually my series around about 0. 0.35. I like a lot of watts. I like high, high power. But 0. 0.35 is perfectly safe. 0. 0.3 is even safe. When you take in voltage drop and sag, if you've got good batteries, but anything below 0.3, it's not going to be a good vape for most people, and it's going to be fucking dangerous if you've got shit batteries. It, yeah. it makes me wonder as well if there's if there is any kind of regulation in there, whether that regulation might be actually increasing the amp draw as the batteries start to go down as well. If there is anything in there, because that's what a regulated device does it to make the voltage up, it ups the amp draw and then does that. Yeah, so I'm wondering how it gets worked. I don't know whether it's got anything like that. I, I do feel like as the voltage in your batteries drop away, you know, so does your vape. But it has, you know, short circuit protection. It's got the ability to shut off, you know, one of the RDAs, isolate individuals. So there's definitely some control. Um, there's obviously a MOSFET in there. Um, and there's got to be low voltage cutoff. And that's the other fucking stupid thing is the low voltage cutoff, um, the way it reads on their manual, basically it's going to cut off when your batteries get to 3.75 volts. Mm hmm which is ridiculous so you're only from to, to 3.75 it's so, you, so you're going to basically pull you're going to pull it straight below the stag's going to drop below that almost straight away if you really really yeah, push so it i don't even know how the how the regulation there at 3.75 would even work because yeah your battery sag is going to be somewhere around there the, ba the battery is supposed to be at 3.7 so last that's where it take it goes for the longest amount of time at any yeah. sort of uh yeah. consistent voltage isn't it yeah yeah so it's just everything about this has just been done and not only that but the way it vapes um because it directs um it directs your air through your top cap 
and then that's your mouthpiece there and you see these little slits here and here the problem is is because it's directing all of the vapor through a slit on each side of your mouthpiece it gets really really hot here and here and so oh. if you don't if you don't grip it you know in the right spot you get a fucking burnt lip it's it needs to have two sort of tubes kind of bringing it up evenly instead of just cutting straight through these little holes it's just so it's a stupid idea having two atomizers on one mob, basically, isn't it? And um, what you're saying is that if you if you're on a first date and they brought that out, just <laughs> so <laughs> fuck that shit. Hashtag callback. <laughs> right, it, it, yeah. it, it's just dumb. it's really dumb. It's dangerous. It's not what the industry needs. It's I don't I don't disagree with this type of vape. You know, I'm a big fan of the Hammer of God. You know, it's a dual series parallel, 8.4 volts, super low voltage drop, battery sag, all the rest of it. But that's not marketed as a starter kit. Yeah, you know, so it's not <laughs> called the Hammer of Starter God. Yeah, and it costs two hundred and fifty dollars <laughs> Australian. So you know, your average beginner vape is not going to pick up a Hammer of God. This no, no, no. is probably going to cost you what about 40, 40 bucks or something. Yeah, and it's it is, yeah, it, it's yeah, it, it's just it's a fucking nightmare. To be honest, I will say most most reasonable vendors aren't going to even pick it up. They're not going to touch it. I, I I mean, I work <laughs> I work closely with a and M, and I know I, I know the guy who runs it's my best mate, and I know he won't touch it. It's just never. No, we're not going to get him in. But it's not going to stop your gear best, your fast tech, and everything else. Of course, yeah, yeah, but nothing stops those fucking bad ends. But luckily, starters don't know about gear best mainly in the main. Ninety nine point nine percent don't know. True, true. Whipper in Whipper in chat says it's perfect for cloud gazing, though. Yeah, yeah. I think yeah, there's got potential. What happens? Just going to give a shout out to Bubbles. He's watching. Bubbles, my friend Bubbles. You're gonna give it a quick break. Oh, oh. <laughs> That's the other problem with it. Which side is dry hitting? It's not dry hitting. This oh. just shoves vapor down your throat. It literally just shoves it. <laughs> I've got two point three ohm mils in here. Each each of these coils uh in each each RDA it comes out to point three. <laughs> <It's> <laughs> dying, look. Because I haven't had I haven't had a go on one yet. I still, I still I, don't get really me wrong. I still my, oh, where's my juice? I need to read It'll it. kill you, Richard. I mean, look at I mean, look at Sam, and then well, look at you. You are just like you know you, you you're not prepared for something like this, Richard. I don't, I don't get how it works though. I just don't <laughs> this, get how it works. This is you know not a build that I don't vape. I vape point three on series regularly. That's fine. But this is two RDAs at point three um, at eight point four volts. So. It's double. It's like vaping two series mods. It literally is like that. It, it, it's so much vapor. So, so, so is it taking that as not point one five? Jesus Christ! Yeah, I think. Yeah, we were trying to work that out. Whether it's actually, it's got to be passing it through both, hasn't it? Because you can't be putting out eight point four to, <laughs> you, know, that, you know that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Richard, it's going to kill you, mate. It's going to kill you. I'll just uh, I'll build higher on it. <laughs> yeah, I I I went. See, point three on a single RDA is just fine for me. I'm happy. I like a point three, but two RDAs at point three at eight point four. Oh, it's a lot of vapor. Yeah, yeah. It's like a quad, isn't it? <laughs> just like say six o'clock in the morning. Six o'clock in the morning, and he's on Guinness. <laughs> Look at these coils. They're just they're monstrous. Oh Christ! Yeah. I'm, I'm, I, uh, I can go on to the next bit of news. Yeah, go on. Like, we'll move on. Go. Rick, what have you got? You've got oh, a bit got... of news. <coughs> I've got a little, yeah, I've got a little article. But it, again, we're seeing this trend in, the, in these newspapers actually talking sense at the end instead of really blaming and, and spinning it out of control. Uh, but we've got a good, well, so quite a good one. But I would say with viewer discretion on this, I'm going to show some pictures. Yeah. Um, and then and I I said, uh, if you're a bit squeamish, look away. Um, let's share it. Let's share it. God damn it, I don't like this. It's nice. Ah, oh, here we go. Right, vaping can seriously damage your health. Yeah, E-cigarette exploded in teenager's mouth, breaking his jaw and blowing out teeth because of his hot <laughs> DIY hacks. Oh, okay. Have you given the have you given the viewer thing out? Yeah, NSFW. Yeah, don't watch if you don't like 
saying grim Yeah, tell us, when it's finished. tell us when it's finished. Well, basically, it's this teenager. It says he made modifications to his electronic cigarette to enhance vaping. He was hospital Moscow, Russia, after it blew up in his mouth and broke his jaw. Unnamed boy very... will now need plastic surgery to fix his face. He was very hospital. Okay. 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 Oh, okay. okay, look away now if you don't want to see it. Jesus. Yeah. A proper job at that. Fucking hell, he did. He's gnarled. It's a bit gnarly, isn't it? Oh, he, he would have been safer just cloud gazing. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he'd have cloud gazing instead, definitely. Yeah, he, would, he would have been better. But um, on the upside, I mean, he's Russian, so this is nothing to him. I mean, he's, he, he probably just... Did, he probably just went in just out of courtesy and then said, now I'm going home now. Mouthful um, of vodka on his way. Yeah, on his way. They can take it. They made a strong stuff over there. Um, You're going to scroll it off the screen and then we can get people back. Okay, you can watch now if you've got a bit of a yeah, screen. It's the next day now. But it does show, it does say at the end, um, where is it? Netizens <laughs> run sympathetic after the explosion. Uh, one netizen called Georgie. I will say Schmick Schmullen in chat put instant Jeremy Kyle smile. <laughs> <laughs> but they're basically they they oh, pipe up they pipe up here and they say that it was his fault and and so it's not spinning it and just saying e-cigarettes explode don't use them it is actually um, isn't this almost a positive in that it kind of tells people that uh, maybe just getting into vaping or thinking about it not to fuck around with their shit unless they know what to do. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. I mean, he's a, I can't imagine what he did. He must have been using a mech or something. Oh, God, you showed me. God, yeah, God. I did. I'm done. I'm done with that now. But he must have been. I don't know how it could have happened, actually, to be honest. How the fuck do you do that to your mouth? I don't know. God, uh, fuck knows, but it's a big explosion and it's fucking quick. Yeah, it doesn't It must have just vented out of the top somehow. and Oh, the, it just thermal. thermal away and off the fucker went. Yeah, there was just going to be a tube, and it must have just gone. Wee yeah, yeah, but no, not nice. But he's he's only seventeen as well, so it's all right. We'll buff yeah. right out. <laughs> oh, I didn't. Fucking. <laughs> 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 you think half thing? Fuck, that's a that's a harsh lesson for me. But uh, that's all. That's all I've got really. There's is a there's a lack of bullshit of, of the week on the, on the news these days. So, Richard, <laughs> you've got some stuff to show us. Yes, I've got uh, one thing. Uh, there is a folder that uh, Craig kindly put up, uh, and it's uh, Gov Govad or Govandi. Govandi. Uh, so this is the new thing. Everyone this uh, week has been getting the uh, EU oh, TPD yeah. penguins and ripping out the the rubber bit in the middle to turn it from two mil to eight mil capacity. And uh, Vandy Vape have got in on the act as well. Their new Govad RTA um, comes as two mil capacity, but <laughs> with instructions to how the make, to make the capacity bigger. Oh, you just pull the fucking thing out! <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's brilliant. Yeah, it's good. It's a good idea. Uh, yeah. That's that's brilliant. You really I, think? I really, I don't think they're going to get away with this at all. <laughs> I really think the penguin is, but I really don't think they are. I, I feel like. I, I don't think I it's like a good that. idea that for them to publish the instructions. Yeah. No. no yeah, I think that's really dumb. I think yeah. there might be. There's going to be a window of time where this could work, while the people involved aren't vetting these things and properly checking. But it feels like a piss take. Yeah, it does. Uh, but but if you just don't know, know what everyone else thinks. How to do it, and then just left it to the reviewers to sort of go. Yeah, exactly. I'm this exactly out. what Sam just said. This out. Look, it's four fucking mils. Yeah, yeah but I definitely wouldn't have put it in the instructions because you just you've just negated your your yeah. your your. But, but if you put this in the instructions, it's no different to when you have a two mil tank that converts to a six. Like the Kylan already is a two mil tank that converts to six. Yeah. Mm. Yeah, exactly. So, yeah. That one came with the separate glass. No, that isn't yeah. allowed, though. Exactly. So I don't see, if you put the instructions in, this is the same thing. You're just not changing the glass. It's a four yeah. mil tank. <laughs> it says, it, the problem is, is, is the product description says four mils. Yeah. yeah. If the, you think of the Clito, which I think the Clito is the best I've ever seen the new the Clito 2, basically. If you use it with the... <clears throat> The brand new I mean, coil, it, it's two mil, and if you use the old coil, which happens to fit, it's four mil. I think that's... I feel like they've got a better chance of getting away with it if they just went. It's only two mils. Yeah. Two mil tank. 
Yeah. There's, just there's say a, that it's a two mil tank, and everybody will look and go, "That's not fucking two mils." But it just be like Sony holds two mils. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah. It, they they might as well just had a fill line. Just yeah. two, mil, two mil fill here. Yeah. It rubs off. You go like that. But even if I was them, I'd be even cheekier than they've been. Like a really clever one would have been you could have bought different color rings to put in it. You could have put like a purple one or a green one. Like make yeah. it really. And then when they go, when they come along and go, excuse me, you can't do that. If you take that out, it's four mil. You go, well, no, 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 no. We do a green one, we do a purple one. We do loads of different colors. Yeah. Yeah. We didn't tell people to leave it out. They sent me the um, original penguin, which is the eight mil one, and you can see clearly it says on the side, like the capacity. Yeah, and then I noticed when the EU ones came out, it didn't say anything on the side of the tank, and I was like, oh, oh. I bet there's a way of turning it. <laughs> so yeah. they knew exactly yeah. what they were doing with the even with the penguin, but at least that was more of a hack, and they didn't make a a public thing of it. No, but, no. No. Uh, I think I think like it's a very set small window of time where that's going to be allowed shout uh, out to dong magnum Yay. yes yeah nice one dong uh, <laughs> yes yep yeah. uh so that's that it feels like you do it for now but ultimately don't expect that to be a thing in a year's time <laughs> i yeah, think sure, they'll get a shot across the bow i don't think it's prosecutable i think it's a shot across the bow from ts well you when you stop. register a product that's when they're supposed to check the product so right now they're probably not checking these things properly, but in the future they will be. So, no. does that bit come out? No, no, that's got to stay. <laughs> what about this photograph here? No, no, no. Uh... Ignore that. Don't read the instructions. <laughs> so, so yeah, so that's right. that. amazing. Oh my god! I should, I should point out as well. Uh, uh, due to the official rules of Meet the Omis, when we have a guest on, there is no Meet the Omis. That was a, a oh, rule yeah, yeah. from day one. So there's no meet the army this week. Oh, okay, okay. Oh, so we've got. Are we going with Rick's showcase? Or are we going with uh, s -s 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 Sam? <laughs> we should talk uh, to Sam. Sam. <laughs> yeah, I was. I was going to show something first of all, just to arrive because we're we're miles away and we kind of get confused with what the fuck's going on over there. Um, yeah, you know, it, it's a long way away. Um, so I'm just going to show. I'm just going to show this, and then I'll. This will just start you off, and you'll just be kind of like, "Oh, for fuck's sake!" <sighs> right here we go. Get ready. Right here it is. Which is? Can you please tell me what the fuck is going on? Yeah. <laughs> Government backs vaping law. Oh god damn it! He's doing this fucking. Shut up, man! <laughs> you can't pause it. Watch, watch this. Watch. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you fucking. It's the Australian propaganda. Oh, What's the gist of it? Right. Um, I'm still a little bit. I'm not. I'm. I'm still a bit confused as to what the government was thinking when they announced this, you know, thing, and then they went, "Oh, actually, we're going to do an inquiry." But what I do know is that they are finally regulating. What's been happening over the last few years is different states in Australia have brought in some regulations. So, you know, in Queensland, up in the north of the country, it's actually really quite bad for vapors up there. They have um, pretty much banned, you know, any vape shops and, and sellers and, um, and brick and mortar stores. But they've also now, um, in the last sort of 12 months, um, outlawed nicotine in your juice. So it's actually an offense to have any nicotine in your e-liquid which sounds ridiculous. At the moment, there's no way for the police to actually check if your juice has nicotine in it. So if you were pulled up by a copper, there's no fucking way that you can tell if you've got nicotine in your juice. You can just say there's no nicotine in it um, and there's nothing you can do. So I don't know that there's anybody that's actually getting busted for having nicotine in juice, but that's the harshest example of a, of a regulation in Australia. Most of the other states have simply brought in regulations that prevent um, vaping in schools, you know, selling to minors and that sort of thing. Um, a few states have brought in no vape shops. So in WA, you can still vape, but you can't, there's no vendors. There's no online stores in WA and there's no legitimate brick and mortars. Jesus. Um, in a lot of the other parts of the country, like my, my state, they hadn't done anything. So it was just basically, you know, no laws regarding vaping and 
the Australian federal law is that it's illegal to supply or sell nicotine in Australia, but it's not illegal to import it. So most Australians have been importing their own nicotine and then adding it to their juice. So that's sort of the, the situation that we've been in for the last few years. <clears throat> what has just happened is now that the federal government has decided they're actually going to do their own regulations. Um, and then they've announced they're going to research into it. So they're getting submissions. So people can actually submit um, a, uh, a, you know, a story, I suppose, of their own, um, you know, personal experience with vaping and how it's changed their life. So I'll put in the chat if anybody's interested in looking at that. Let's give us a fucking second. I'll grab the link off here as well. While we're oh, yeah. Basically, if, if anybody in Australia or outside of Australia wants to help us at the moment, go to that link. And just it can be as simple as I started vaping three years ago. I don't smoke anymore. I feel much healthier. Vaping has changed my life. It can be as yeah. simple as that. It's it's basically the government has no idea really about vaping and they want to hear from anybody, vendors, consumers, manufacturers, whatever. Um, and from that, then they're going to bring in some regulations. So we don't know what they're going to do at the moment. How, how big is it in Australia in general? So. so the more recent figures that news uh, companies have been sort of running with is there something like I think about 500,000 vapors in Australia. Um, but I think there's probably a lot more than that. Um, but obviously because of the nicotine restrictions and these are restrictions for those that don't know, um, the nicotine restrictions we all live with are pre-existing. They're not like they brought in a law that says you can't use nicotine. Right. Well before vaping was a thing, nicotine's classed as a Section 7 poison, which means it can't be supplied or sold here in Australia. But the loophole is that you can actually import it. So we've all been importing our own nicotine and then adding it, kind of like what you guys are experiencing now with the whole Nick shot thing in your juice. Because so you, you can't can import have it from somewhere like just add nick.co.uk. That would be all right. <laughs> oh, jeez. <laughs> what the fuck? I'm just saying. It just happens to be the name of a site. I'll get it out of the way. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, so there's, there's, there's New Zealand <laughs> websites that sell nicotine concentrate and they also sell like easy mix stuff where you just buy a bottle of juice. Um, so my juice line, if, if we're going to spruik our own juice here, John. Yeah, yeah. fuck it, man. Plug it to hell, so mate. Australia, you might pick up a bottle of uh, Bogan Brews or any other yeah. e-liquid, but you might pick up this one. Uh, <laughs> and um, it will come half full. So the bottle will be half full, but the juice in there is double the flavor strength that you would vape it at. You can then buy high nicotine concentrate, like 100 milligram. You might put in 0.9 of a mil and top the rest up with PGBG. Perfect. Or you can buy from New Zealand websites uh, like the mob that I work for, where we sell a big bottle, a 500 mil bottle of PGVG, and it might be, say, 6 milligram. And then you yeah. take your what we call a doubler. It's half full. You add your twelve, your six milligram, and obviously because it's being diluted with your juice 50-50, your six becomes three. Yeah. So okay. that's how most Australians have been vaping, um, is to buy Nick and add it to Aussie juice or import juice with Nick already in it from the UK but or the US. That's rubbish for smokers starting off though, isn't it? Exactly. And that sort of brings me back to the point as to why we've probably only got, you know, just over 500,000 um, vapors in Australia is it's not as easily accessible. You can't just walk into a brick and mortar store, you know, buy yourself a, an Inican pen and a bottle of juice and start vaping. You can, but it won't have nicotine in it. And we all know that the nicotine is the key. You know, we've all got patches. They don't work because they don't have yeah. any mouth to, you know, hand to mouth action. You need that hand to mouth with the nicotine. And so in Australia, it's just a bit of a hurdle that you've got to go around to actually start vaping properly. Cool. Nice. So the next one is, I wrote down, I, I wrote a couple down, which was, um, there was quite a stir when you first appeared and it was a bit of a shock. How do you think you've changed since you've started? Have you, is there more, when, I, could, I, I also wrote something down which said, on your very first review, I think that I watched was the, the tank crossing mod. Yeah, yeah. Ages and ages ago. And I watched it back and I was thinking, it, his voice was like an octave higher. It's like yeah, he was, yeah, yeah. Like, oh, right. and he was going like, at which point, did, 
Yeah, it's the vaping fucking bogan. How the fuck are you? <laughs> <laughs> and it's like, at what point did you think, hold on a minute, Sam needs to come out a little bit now, and, and it's kind of like bogan's there still, but it's... it's yeah it's, it's not sustainable a... um yeah yeah it's 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 and and you know julie noted that you, you noticed that because most people do um when i first started when i first did that video that was a fucking like it was a bit of a laugh i was hanging out in a google hangout much like this with you know half a dozen other idiots talking vaping and we thought it'd be funny to do a vape review with this it was a viral video that went big in australia about 10 years ago called trent from punchy and it's basically some cunt pretending to be act uh, you know addicted to meth um, and he's just all like, fucking, fucking, yeah, shit, eh, fucking, sicko, fucking, dick it, fucking dick it. <laughs> anyway, this video was huge in Australia. And so we thought, what if we did like a Bogan character with that voice doing a vape review? Because, you know, let's face it, a lot of vape reviews can get a little bit mundane, you know. Is the fucking mod right? It's a fucking squonker. Do you want to explain Bogan to just quickly, do you want to explain bogan to uh, UK people who don't know what the word means? What What is bogan? Yeah, um, it's somewhere between like a redneck and I suppose a chav. Um, it's, yeah. it's it's you know a, an uncouth, uneducated, um, you know, pretty rough around the edges kind of uh, individual. Um, it's pretty similar because to a redneck. Like, like Have the you sort seen of people we... live up in Darwin? Yeah. A lot of bogans in Darwin. <laughs> we had Big, Big J was a sort of UK bogan type thing, but he hasn't done a video for ages. But hopefully, he will. But um, it's yeah. it's our equivalent. So it was, so it was a piss take at first, but but you thought yeah, it was a piss take. It was a joke. You know, it was meant to be a bit of a laugh. Um, and then you cunts picked it up. I think Damien Mortar he saw a video. Oh he yeah, thought it was fucking hilarious. Um, I think that, that, and I have to give. Um, give a thanks to, to Damien for that because it was very early on and he featured me in one of his little um, Yeah, yeah, I remember that. I remember he did one of his waffles and he waffle. featured you. A, a fucking bloody good waffle. <laughs> <laughs> You've nailed the and, um, With Americans and Australians, you just can't do British accents. <laughs> <laughs> nailed the head, though. <laughs> nailed the head, yeah, perfect. So <laughs> So Damien picked it up and then obviously a bunch of the UK saw it and then a couple of uh, the American guys that have picked it up and it just it just snowballed and I was like, well, we've got to keep doing this. People are enjoying the video. So we did a few more and they were all very sort of humor orientated, but with still the sort of information that you want to hear about the product. Um, and then like, yeah, like you're saying with that voice, it just, it got, it, it had to kind of come down like that. That voice is not easy to do for 20 minutes. <laughs> we had a few people commented at the first i would sort of say a few people in chat said uh i thought you were gonna have the bogan and it, but it's sam and i and, it, and, I, and, I, and I commented in chat yeah it, it's sam it's an hour and a half they'd be fucking stupid <laughs> <laughs> don't get me wrong what i do on video is very much who i am but it's definitely accentuated yes. slightly for the yeah. fucking video the, the mad thing in the uk was people didn't the, the the big debate in the UK was uh, is it for real? Is that you or really? not? I didn't even see that. Uh, with people that in their city, I will say it's not, it was it's not a straight up. Is he putting it on or is it real? It's not. It's somewhere in the in the middle. Um, yeah, I, well, I will say honestly, I think we lot. kind of got it a little bit from the off and thought it was more brilliant because of that. I really do. Yeah. I think the first time I saw you. I was like, oh, this guy's got it. Like, that's that's really funny. Like, if you can, <clears throat> to, it's it's one of those things where it's just open to parody. Vaping is so wide open to that kind of parody, and, and it was absolutely fantastic. And there's been a few a few have done it, and and it's so it's just enjoyable to watch. Really, really is Sam, and, and we I think everybody fell in love with you straight away. So the first idea. I just but thought, I, I bet I, at the same time you've got a lot of people back. Because you have always put all the information in there. So, like, I bet a lot of people that said, what is this? I'm not watching this. They've come back now. They're like, yeah, yeah I do get that. I've had a few people that have messaged or commented and said, when I first saw you, I thought it was ridiculous. This guy doesn't know what he's talking about. And then they've watched a few more videos and they thought, actually, he knows what he's talking about. <laughs> he's, yeah. he's, 
bow out. And that's the whole idea around it is I thought, fuck it, why can't we do a vape review and give you all the information that you fucking want, all the all the nitty gritties. Let's talk about does it have overhang, all the stuff that when I watch a vape review, I want to know the technical stuff, but I want to know is my 25 millimeter Addy going to fit on this RDA, on this mod. Yeah. Um, so I thought we've got to give people what they want to know, the, the, the information, but let's fucking have some fun with it. You know, let's swear a little, let's talk some shit. Um, and yeah, it's You're brutally it's, uh, honest, it's, as well. honest as well. Yeah, and and that's the other thing is, is I see so many reviews out there that are just they just pander to you know getting more products or whatever the reason that they just it's all positives and it's it's not straight yeah. up. And I feel like a review needs to be brutally honest. If it's a fucking awesome product, then talk about it. If it's got yeah. some real issues, then call them out. How yeah. many? But I, I will say this: um, there's so many people who. Uh, Oh, fuck, I don't give a shit. I don't care. I've got no vested interest. There's so many <laughs> reviewers. I really have always enjoyed people who just say it as it is. You know, people who are worried about the next thing coming. Fuck it. Give a shit. Just yeah. say shit. And my attitude it's, it's is loose. I'll fucking talk about a product straight up. And if a company that sent me that product isn't happy with the review because it wasn't positive enough for them, then I don't want to be reviewing stuff for them and if they've got something i really want to fucking review i'll go out and i'll bloody buy it and i'll review it anyway you know yeah 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 that's, that's a one, that's one a vendor answer. not liking my product review and then not sending me products anymore is like, i've got you know what i mean like if tesla suddenly stops sending me products because i fucking slam their 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 um bit mech then heaven's you know heaven's gifts or a lego mall will send me one of their mods anyway you know what i mean like yeah yeah Absolutely. I've got, yeah, yeah. I've got I think no that's really reason to, and I don't think reviewers should have some sort of loyalty or you know change anything about what they're saying based on how the vendor is going to react. I will, I'll add one caveat to be kind, which is if it's shit, don't post the fucking video. Then tell them, send them an email and say shit, and I'm not going to post the video because it's shit. Because yeah. I hate it. I really hate it when I hear people come back and say. I post. They put a video out and they pull it because the person who sent it to them says you've got to pull that shit. Uh, you, uh, you know you can't say it's crap. I think you're such a fucking gutless. If you're supposed to, well, be I'd never pull a video. I would, exactly. I would never pull a video. Yeah. Could you imagine if a film reviewer did that? They put out a film and they went, "Ignore what you saw last night." I thought it's brilliant. That would be really <laughs> yeah. weird. Fuck off. I don't want to take you seriously. Like, I just yeah. I I don't think there are enough reviewers that are being really reviewers we are meant to be our loyalty should be with the people watching our videos yeah um, and the people who buy the products um, i think we're gonna uh, craig's having problems with the internet so i'm gonna jump in and start asking you questions out because he's, he's, his wi-fi is gone so we're gonna go to the next one. <clears throat> um this next one's one of mine which is in cheek with this <clears throat> the future of vaping closed systems question mark I don't think it's going to get to that. No, no way. Um, You're yeah, we'll not one of the reviewers by the club. The people who've, who've uh, I, I've spoken to them privately uh, about reviewing closed systems and, and, and claiming they're fucking amazing. It's really good. It really isn't. You're a fucking liar. <laughs> I'm sure there are probably some good closed systems out there, um, but they're not going to be as good as a rebuildable. They're not going to be as good as something you can refill and replace the coil on. Um, I think they have their place. I think, you know, the and we're talking about normalizing vaping so that it's accessible. And that, that, was, that, was, that was the other part of the question, really, is sort of, I think there is a place for closed systems. I think there definitely is. I think, I think, I the, think at the service station, it's if it's 3 a.m. Like, in the morning yeah, 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 and my mod has stopped working and I can go and grab a closed system when I'm on the piss from the local Quickie Mart, I think that's a great idea. I think the problem with vaping for a lot of people, when we, you get customers that come into the shop that their mod stopped working and they bought a packet of cigarettes. Yeah. Wouldn't you, wouldn't you rather hear them say that their mods stopped working so they bought a closed system from the servo and they kept vaping instead of smoking? I, I think... And I, I definitely would, don't want to see any more cigarette lights because I've been caught... Um, uh, last time it happened to me, I had an Enzonic V5, so fucking back in the day, and I couldn't... It got a reverse lock switch and it was jammed up, and I had to go and buy it. I, I was in town, so I just bought a cigarette and it was so shit, and I thought, <laughs> yeah. if you're going to quit, fuck, you're fucked. 
puffs, you're never going to quit. 400 man. puffs, 400 puffs. They reckon you get like three puffs in, and it's already dying. Yeah, and you're like, oh fuck, this really sucks. So yeah, yeah, exactly. I totally agree with your sentiment, which is if they're vaping, they're vaping. But I, I don't want to see it being the only choice. That's that's really sad. No, not at Break all. And, and I think that the juggernaut of the vape industry has just—it's way too big now. You cannot put the genie back in the bottle. China yeah. is not going to stop. China is just relentless. Do you know what I mean? But I think, again, I think you, you hit on something earlier, and we were talking. The one thing I really want to see is if we've got these restrictions in place, if we've got this two mil, especially in the UK, we've got this two mil restriction in place. Those type of restrictions is what inspire ideas. Fuck, like we, we've always kept big tobacco on the back foot. And when you look at things like the Vite by British American Tobacco and stuff, they're, they're, they're two years behind. Keep them on the back. Keep them way back. That, and that's and that's what I can't under, I don't I haven't worked this out. I can't understand how these big tobacco companies are so far away from the quality of the products that we get. Yeah. And those that go into a vape shop and talk to someone who understands vaping and what what's good and what's shit. They they just it's like how, how has Philip Morris not taken somebody from the vaping industry and said, Oi. Fucking show us how to do it. You know, like I don't. I, I just. I think. I think they have to see their own failings, which is something that the the the, the tobacco companies haven't had to do for fifty years. And I, I think. Yeah. If they do, I think it'd be interesting. Uh, but right now, we're we're living in a in a in a utopia where they are two three years behind, and they keep they come out with their latest thing. It's such a piece of shit that we don't even have to worry about it. You just go, uh, okay. But I'm not. I, I'm not opposed to big tobacco getting involved in the vape industry because you know if the if big tobacco decide that vaping is going to be their new fucking cash cow, um, you know it could go badly. Obviously, if if they do get into the, the government and they start restricting the industry where they are the ones that have control because everything else is restricted. You know, if that happens where you can only buy closed systems and the only companies making those are you know Philip Morris and the rest of it, that's bad. That's really dangerous. But if big tobacco get involved in the vape industry and they start making products like Geek Vape and Smock and Kanga and Inokin, and they start making products like that, that are good and that we actually enjoy, then their money and their influence with the government could only be a positive thing for vaping. I, agree. I, think, I, agree. I don't think they were expecting, <clears throat> what I don't think they were expecting with China. I think that, I think the TPD, uh, I, I'm not a conspiracy theorist by any means, but... I certainly think it was a uh, um, uh, like a traffic restriction. It was to slow everybody down. I think it's failed, and I think I really hope we can prove that it failed. That I really hope that the, the this industry, as it is, keep registering products, and keep coming out with products, and keep yeah. fuck them. Really fuck them. I really like the idea of a major corporation coming in with the money, with the technology. I'm yeah. just pushing it forward I somehow. You know? I kind of I don't. I go, yeah, as long as it's not a closed system, I don't. I, I, it's the closed system. That that's what I mean, and that's and that's where my my concern is that if Philip Morris and all the rest of it get involved, and that they're only pushing these closed systems, and then they influence the government to a point where they restrict the industry to just these products that big tobacco are making, then we're in real trouble. But I don't feel like that can happen. Now, well, I don't feel it can happen in the UK. I don't feel it can happen in Australia. I, for, no. for me personally, I'd be very worried in the US. I, I think you're being lined up for it personally, but yeah, I definitely like to prove wrong. Um, but if Big Tobacco were to create a company that's going along the same direction as you know a Geek Vape or a Kanga or you know some of these companies that are actually making products that are good and work well and designed <laughs> for vapors, I've got no problem as long as it's, as long as it's yeah. open. I don't. I don't. Yeah, I don't shit. hold a grudge against big tobacco for smoking. Like I knew cigarettes were bad. No. Yeah. No, exactly. I that hold a grudge against them for plus not um, mm. pound for ten mil of e liquid. I, I, I just don't give a shit. No. Anyway, why were you? I've got enough nicotine. It's an hour and fifty minutes. It's an hour and fifty minutes in. Where were you in the lab? <laughs> and the next question: <clears throat> Is there a typical Aussie vaping style? Um, oh, I don't that's think it's to you, really because we're not Australian. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think there's really any difference to a lot of places. Um, we've got your, you know, your regular, you know, um, vapor that's buying your your Kangas, your Inokins, your Smocks, your Wismec, your iJoy. You know, they're they're buying that sort of stuff. You've got those that love their Mech mods. 
Um, I think we've got quite a big following that's probably closer to that American kind of West Coast, you know, mech mod, tube mod, fucking vape bros kind of thing. There's definitely um, that sort of thing. There's a very small portion of Australians that are your, your high end, your squonkers with fucking mesh kind of people. So we've got the same the same different subgroups within the vape industry as anywhere else. Um, probably less of the high end stuff than the UK. I know the UK, obviously, with all of your Geppetto mods and fucking European... <laughs> Crap. But, There's a lot more of that in the UK, um, particularly with our weak here. dollar. You know, when you look at a Geppetto and it's a thousand pounds, and then you convert that to an Aussie dollar, you know. <laughs> you <laughs> yeah. yeah, if you can you get know, all the Geppetto for a thousand pounds, and you need to send me your phone number, mate. <laughs> <laughs> but you know what I mean? Like, if you look at you look at those high end mods in pounds, and they're expensive, but then you convert those pounds to Aussie dollars, it's even more ridiculous. So there's not a lot of that in Australia. Um, and there's, you know, a small mech mod sort of community. Um, and then just all you sort of other regulars and you, you know, your mouth to lungers, you, you blokes that have been fucking vaping a Nautilus tank on a, on an ice stick for four years. And that's all they ever want. Um, you know, we've got all of that. It's no real different. Yeah. A lot more DIY up. here, I think, because of the nicotine restrictions. Yeah. You kind of got, yeah, it's an extra. <laughs> Oh, 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 okie dokie. Let's go on with the next. Um, have the recent changes at YouTube. I thought Craig would have taken over. Have the recent changes at YouTube affected affected you? And does Patreon Patreon change your reviewing from a hobby into a job? Um, well, the first one I haven't really noticed a lot with YouTube. Um, Obviously, you know, I, I check and see how the subscribers are going. So I don't know whether this whole notification thing that YouTube's fucked up on is affecting us. I don't know whether this, this certainly the, the, the whole swearing thing and, um, you know, advertising and whatnot, yeah. I haven't really noticed a lot. But to be honest, at 50,000 subs and the viewers that I get, um, the money that YouTube pays for ad revenue, it's not even something that I consider in, you know, the income. It's so small. So what um, you, you what you average about fifty thousand? So I've got fifty thousand subs. You right. know, probably average anywhere from six to ten thousand views on a on a video. And you know, YouTube revenues. It's not yeah. something that I've ever um, really looked at as a viable income at the level yeah. that I'm at. I mean, if you've got hundreds of thousands of subs and and tens of thousands of views, then it's going to pay out a significant amount. But um, you know, I would invest eighty plus hours a, a month on videos, and I might get three hundred bucks from YouTube. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, 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 absolutely. Yeah. Sorry. <laughs> if you work well, out the hourly rate, it's not. It's not worth it. You may as well. Well, we, we, you may as well get a paper round for that. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. You know, for the amount of time that you invest, YouTube is not my cash cow. That's not how I'm. I'm doing. It. Which sort of brings me to the whole Patreon thing. Um, as I've already said, I don't believe YouTubers should get paid from. Um, the vendors and the manufacturers that they, they they view stuff for, they should be you know funded by those that are watching their stuff, benefit from their stuff, because that keeps it unbiased, it keeps it independent. So um, I never set out for it to be a job. You know, even 12 months ago, I didn't think of it as a job. You know, I just was doing it for fun. I thought, hey, one day it might go somewhere. It's getting to the point now where the amount of time that I'm investing in videos plus my work, you know, full time job, and then trying to balance that with family life is getting too much. So probably. You know, towards the end of this year, early next year, I hope to go full time. But that income is going to come from Patreon and from a juice line. Yeah. yeah. Um, and I feel like that's an honest and an unbiased way of a YouTuber it's, getting paid. It, 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 it wasn't. A, it wasn't a trick question anyway. We we trying to kind of get what you're saying. No, and no, no. It's a, good, it's a good question. I moved into like uh, Rick's been doing work in the vape industry for two years now, Rick. Uh, three actually, three years in Mod Maker. Yeah. Two, three, three years that I've been working since February the first or uh, March the first. No, and and, and work in the vape industry uh, full time because it's the only f f for me. I know the high end scene because I've been doing it for four years. Or something, so so next up, years. next up, then we'll race through some of these. Go for it. Um, yeah, right. go go go. Uh, Right, what I'll do then, uh, I'm going to, I'll ask the obvious one, which is how gutted were you when Michael Kasprovitz was at ed edge Steve Harmison in the second dashes in Birmingham in 2005? <laughs> <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> Fuck off. Fuck off. In 2005, <laughs> the, the most important moment was when uh, Glenn McGrath tripped on that ball. Oh, yeah. Yeah, he injured himself, didn't he? Yeah, he I didn't literally play. have no idea what you're about. 
Me neither. This was, the most important, this was the most important thing ever, this was. The second test at Birmingham. That was. Have you found out if Sam's into cricket? He's an Australian. Oh, of course he's fucking like this. <laughs> you guys... Juice name. So I've got a juice name, Six and Out, which is if, if you... I don't know whether you've got a similar thing in England, but yeah. in Australia, when you're playing backyard cricket, if you hit the ball over the fence, it's Six and Out. Yeah, yeah, we've got that. Right. <laughs> yeah. I figured yeah, on, a similar, on a similar that. note, are you happy that... Uh, and we don't talk politics or football, but very quickly, uh, are you happy that Wenger's staying or not? Oh. No. <laughs> no. <laughs> You're an Arsenal fan. Yeah, mate. Wow. You're, a goon, You're a gooner. Hello. Oh, God, he's running off now in shame. He's a gooner, look. No. He's a gooner. <laughs> okay, so then, gonna... hopefully, hopefully we hang on to this cunt if we don't hang on to this cunt we're fucked we are fucked if we don't hang on to Sanchez I, mean, I don't know anything so, about football but I will say for my entire family who are from North London <laughs> suck a cop <laughs> right. sorry they're all Tottenham fans so, so you're, a, you're a Wenger out you're a Wenger out you might have finished the Tottenham might have finished above us but uh, how much silver did you finish with this season <laughs> oh, I don't give a shit I hate football so that was just from my family I don't give a fuck about football Oh, you don't get the. Um, but on that, on that, I love, I love what Wenger's done. I think he's been a fantastic asset to the to the team for twenty years. But it is time for him to step aside, and uh, two more years is. I think he should have just gone out with the FA Cup win. Yeah, I agree. Yeah. Um, next up, which is what modern are your guilty pleasures? Ooh, uh, probably a for a long question. time it was. I like it. Really. I, uh, do you mean guilty pleasures in I'm like ashamed to use it? Or yeah, he's kind of one of those yeah, guilty pleasures. Yeah, not very a little right, bit ashamed to enjoy it. Um, yeah. oh. Well, recently it's been this guy. <laughs> <laughs> the Zippo. In your face then when you opened it was like, this is amazing. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like Winnie the Pooh. I'm like, <laughs> do you hide? Do you, just a quick question, though, because we obviously saw you vaping that. Do you um, do you up your nick on that? Yeah. So I'm normally at like three, maybe two milligram on all my drippers and tanks and whatever. But when I do a mouth to lung, it's usually six. And in this one, it's so small. I had to go to nine milligram. I feel like a, a bit of a fucking mouth to lung. I like that. Though. I kind of, I like the fact that there's this, there's this weird fucking glass ceiling over people. And if you mention nick over what they normally make they get really weird so if you say oh no if you may have the lung you want to hit that like a 12 and they go no 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 and the other thing is there's a weird enforce we've talked about this in the uk there's a weird because i've been vaping five years now and i still vape 12 and i vote whether it's 0.13 ohms or or yeah. 1.6 it's still 12 because i just don't care and um <laughs> And I, like, I, I can freak people out in a vape shop. Where the, there was a guy walked in the other day with 18 milligram, and he was vaping it. Uh, it was a 0.4 ohm coil. And he was vaping it at 15 <laughs> watts, and he said, it tastes funny. And I went, nah, is it here? And I turned it up to 40 watts and went, there we go. Hold on. That's nah, all right, that. Then give it back. <laughs> and his wife went, you could do that. I went, yeah. 20 years of, of 40 Benson. Fucking no worries. I could fucking knock that out of the park. I'm gonna right. take a piss. Back in a sec. All right. Yeah. Okay. Right. Well, I'll tell you what. We'll do the mod. We'll do your mod showcase and quickly. Yeah, and then we'll back yeah. to the last we'll end them to the last oh, okay. Yep. Um, oh, Anna, we're, I'm I'm unprepared for that. <laughs> oh, we'll whistle. We'll whistle. You just show. There we go. Look, I've got it. There we go. Hey, we're off. It's that time of week again, isn't it? It's that time of week. <laughs> You know what time of week it is, John? What time, what time of week is it, John? We'll make a showcase. Yeah, we've got a showcase. Right, what have we got this? Right, what are we going to show this week? We've got, got one lovely mod we're going to show, and it's not just because of the mod. It's because of the block that it's in. Or, or, or precisely, who made the blocks that this guy is now building some mods with? And uh, I think we'll jump straight into showing some pictures, shall we? Mm -hmm. Right, Ryan Daw was lucky enough to get hold of one of Scott Bonner's blocks of wood that he makes. And he made this little beauty with it. Am I sharing? No, I'm not. Uh, okay. No, 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 you slipped. It was on. There we go. Oh, lovely, lovely, lovely. Look at that. Oh, that's and it's Scott's block, is it? 
That uh, is, look at that, colours on that block. Come on, I'm just going to add something, because we were talking about this before the show. Just in case anybody's worried, wondering, we're not showing this because it's, because it's, because it's Scott, because it's um, Ryan Dorf. It's, it's because it's fucking brilliant. I really don't see how you can say that. Scott's block is absolutely fantastic. It really has got the contrast nice great. with the colours there, because quite often you see some hi hybrid blocks and they're just garish colours that don't really do it for yeah. me at all. But um, that dark blue this is works. incredible. This works. And, and I think they call um, it blue steel. Oh, God. Oh, we we have our own. Do it. <laughs> 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 that's the sound no part. one saw that but us but it was that's still the timing of the week that is mm -hmm. but no yeah Ryan Dorr making some beautiful squonkers with some beautiful wood there so I mean I think it's a perfect combination that that is I, I would like to own that mod that's really nice yeah it's um, beautiful and I've got one more picture to show of, I think it's the same thing with another block so um oh. let's have a look at that one another one oh, I prefer, I prefer the blue but this this is one for the ladies I reckon <laughs> I like that. I like it. It's kind of lava -y. I like the lava kind of thing. And I do like what Ryan's done with the switch. I really like that. Yeah, it really is a top class. I agree with you. They're not my colours, but uh, it's fantastic. Is that is that a, is that a walnut burr or something? Yeah, oh, well, it's a burr of some sort. I'm not it's sure. Burr. I do like it. Yeah. But so, yeah, well done. I'm just going to say well done to uh, Ryan Dahl, Rock Mods. Yeah. Uh, go and look him up, and if you haven't already heard of him, I'm sure you have. Um, and that's uh, oh, Scott I get Bonner, Scott uh, turnwoodfx.com. Yeah, yeah right. go and have a look. Because he's really, he, he got good quick. Daryl, we know about the SVB. You're all right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that was uh, that's our mod showcase of the week. I hope you liked it. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Good. It was fun. Again next week for some more. We should wrap up. Yeah, um, yeah uh, do you really think we should wrap up? I think we could do. Craig's could we do mod doesn't two? work properly. <clears throat> what questions or just two? Hello. Go Hello. for two. Go for it. Craig. Pick your favourite two and hit and hit Sam up with them, and then we'll go. Yeah. What? Well, do what? Couple more for Sam, and then do we'll two more questions. Wrap up. Right. Um, okay. The next one was very quickly. Um, your juice line is it available anywhere else outside of Australia at all yet? And if it is, where is it? And can we get it? Not outside Australia. Um, if you want to get it straight away, you can order it from vaporize.com.au. That's that ship international, and it's not not that expensive. But but uh, Sam, very very give us a, very. Give us a post. Give us a post uh, on iOS. Paul. Yeah, post in the group. A post on iOS. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Plug it. Plug it on there. Plug it. Um, on there. But I am I am in talks, um, and it will happen. It's just a case we're just nutting out what lay what warning labels we've got to have on there for the whole European thing. But we will be uh, selling through European vaping supplies. I don't know if you guys are familiar with them. I think so. They were at they were they're quite they're quite a big vendor. Um, they've got. Cool. Cool. A warehouse in the UK, and also I think they're opening up a warehouse in France because of the whole. Well, oh, if it doesn't if it doesn't go brilliantly, well, have a chat with me. But we want to get it everywhere. So if there's vendors out there that want to get it, it is available wholesale for any UK vendors. But at the moment, I've got probably two that are going to happen, but just nutting out what we need to have on the bottles. Excellent, nice. Um, and the last question you've kind of already answered, which is. Are you in, involved in vaping full time, or is it a hobby? But you've you've already said you've got the you work in the shop, then do you? Yeah, yeah so I work full time in a, a shop in uh, in Blair Athol here in South Australia called Vaporize. Um, and yes, yeah, so I'm in there full time. But yeah, hopefully towards the end of this year, early next year, it's, it's going to happen because I just are can't you sustain. Working, are you working today, sir? No, Friday is my day off. Thankfully, oh, thank <laughs> what, 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 what a bunch of assholes! You're gonna finish, and then you're gonna <laughs> go, oh, fucking man, you're gonna fucking I'm gonna work. Go back to bed for a couple of hours, and then I'm gonna get up and record a whole bunch of reviews. Friday is my oh. review recording day. Cool. Cool. Wow, well, I think that's about it. I think. Yeah, that is. Cool. Yeah, yeah. Cheers for coming on. Thank you very well, much for coming on, Sam. Sam. Really good to meet you, mate. And uh, yeah, awesome, yeah. mate. Awesome, and the best of luck with the channel and everything else. And we'll have you. We'll, oh, you'll we, be back on again at some point. Anyway, now that we know you're off on it. Can we have a Bogan yeah. sign-off for the end of the show? <laughs> yeah, I think we need, yeah. I think we need it. I think we need it. Yeah, that's hilarious. He's going to close the show for us now. 
It's like well, asking a comedian to tell us a joke, isn't it? It's like one of those uncomfortable <laughs> moments. Don't ruin it. Don't ruin it. Don't make it worse. <laughs> I really appreciate you having me on. It's been a lot of fun. Um, yeah, we'll have to do it again sometime. Um, I'll get up early and drink beer for breakfast and we'll talk some shit. <laughs> but... <laughs> <laughs> Go home, you fucking dick's off and your tits off and all that good shit. And uh, yeah. thank you, right? Uh, we'll see you next Thursday at 9 pm ish, only on uh, the YouTubes and only on the homepage. Yay! Bye. 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 Bye.